Hey guys, it's John and welcome to my playthrough of Bendy and the Dark Revival. This actually came out November 15th, so I'm about two months late, um, but it happened right after I had a death in the family, so I had to take some time off. But I'm coming back, circling back around to it now. This is the sequel to the wildly successful indie horror game Bendy and the Ink Machine, which I was not a big fan of. You can watch my full playthrough uh, if you're not familiar. Yeah, it was a game that started out with a free chapter one. Uh, it was an episodic horror game. And then each chapter that came out, I felt got progressively away from the atmospheric horror beginnings and more into the uh, YouTube bait side of things. However, I have heard good things about Bending the Dark Revival. Of course, I heard good things about Bending the Ink Machine too that I disagreed with, but I'm gonna walk into this one Blind and optimistic. I actually have no idea what this is about. I think I remember watching like a one minute teaser trailer when it was announced, but I don't remember anything about it. You know, inky people walking up, arm, arm, I'm Kenny Inkman. You know, I I don't know. A new, new person for them to make plushies out of. <laughs> okay, stop it, stop it. Good attitude, good attitude. So uh, yeah, I'm gonna walk into this. This is a $30 game on Steam and it's complete. It's not episodic, unlike the ink machine, the first one. And uh, we're gonna check it out, let's begin. All right, let's do a new game on normal difficulty. If you visited the studio before, let's go. All right, here we go. Bendy and the Dark Revival. Joey Drew Studios presents. We're now- uh, free to choose. Those are to tiny subtitles. What we want to believe. But when you step back, when you really look at where you've been and the things you've done, your past will come to devour so you. I believe that was the home of Joey Drew, which you see at the very end of Benny and the Ink Machine. But it looks like it's dilapidated. I'm guessing Joey's gone. June 18th, 1973, okay. Not really a 70s style outfit. There you go, little guy. And only 800 more frames to go. No way I'm getting through tonight without some coffee. Probably some downstairs. Am I gonna have to go get coffee? I can't wait. Okay, so we're playing as Audrey, which if I'm not mistaken, was not a character that I remember seeing in the original game. I was curious how they were gonna do this because the original game ends with, with you discovering that you're in a time loop um, and Arguably all the other characters in the Bendy universe. So on the right, we've got Alice, Angel, Boris, and Bendy, I see. Uh, Bendy's a short little guy, isn't he? Time for a little adventure. Getting coffee's a little adventure. I forgot how, I forgot how much this game wants to be Bioshock. It's kind of incredible. Employee of the Month Award, look at us. All right. We got donut, eat your donut. It's not an indie horror game unless there's an uneaten donut around. <laughs> it's one of those things. It's like, uh, it's as integral to have in your indie horror game as uh, a mirror that doesn't show a reflection, but this one does actually. Okay, well, let's go ahead and uh, open the door. Nice. Now what is this, Archgate Pictures. Oh. So, so yeah, we're not working at Joey Drew Studios. I was about to say, this doesn't look like it. Because we saw what the old Joey Drew Studios looked like. And they're all dilapidated. Who's this? Nathan Arch. Okay, so is he like a new despot at the head of the animation studio? Profit and fame hungry? Cool, I love searching file cabinets by opening them a tenth of the way. That's great. All right. Really? They locked me in? Good thing I brought my own key today. Locked you in? 
retrieve your office keys. Here it goes. Oh, what character is that? Is that one of the butcher gang or something? If you don't know what I'm talking about at all, then you probably haven't seen or, or played Ink Machine, but you may have, actually. It's entirely possible that- Who put this here? Oh, it's the Bendy cutout. It just says Bendy the Demon, not Bendy the Ink Demon. Interesting. There's Alice Angel. But uh, yeah, don't worry about it. You can look up a summary if you want. Whew. Here's the key. You don't gotta play the whole game or anything or... It's not, it's not really even that long, actually. It's only a couple hours. Not the most welcoming hallway I've ever seen. Audrey, did you not just see the janitor bucket move on its own? Hello? Is someone there? I thought about exploring, but I think... I think this is actually one of those... Oh! It's not a janitor bucket. Look, it's ink. I think this is one of those games where I'm going to be okay with not 100%ing it. Not finding everything. I'm just going to experience it. You know. I almost said I want to experience it raw. That sounds weird. I want to experience it... <laughs> Vanilla. I don't know. What's a good way to say that? Audrey. Wilson? <sighs> you scared me to death. I'm sorry, my dear. Oh my god, you're so, you sound so Didn't evil. Didn't mean to frighten you. You're working late tonight. A pretty girl like you shouldn't be wandering around all by yourself. Mind if I step in? Uh, of course not. Thank you, Audrey. You look like you could use a little company. Oh my god. He sounds so evil that he must not be. You know what I mean? So, it's been really nice this past week. Just beautiful. Gorgeous. What was that? Please tell me we're not trapped in here. Don't you worry, my dear. It's just a little short in this system. Happening a lot these past few days. No need to fret. Let's see what we can find. Come along now. Old Wilson will protect you. Anybody that calls themselves Old Wilson. By the way, is it just me or did he like freak out on the side of the screen just then? Um. <laughs> okay. Yeah, you, uh, you get the lights back on, I guess. What are you even tinkering around with there? Ah, there we are. Just a few more switches to throw. Follow me. <laughs> It will be perfectly safe. I'm sure it will be, and I'm sure you're completely well-meaning because you're so over-the-top evil sounding. Joey Drew, the man and the demon. So that's what they're working on. They're working on a biopic about Joey Drew slash documentary. I'm not really sure. Joey Drew, 1901 through 1971. So this is, okay. That explains why his house is all dilapidated. He's dead. Or is he? Joey was the founder of the studio and the man who created Bendy. Not true, but uh, one of the most beloved cartoon characters of all time. In 1929, with the help of his business partner, Henry Stein, he created Bendy's first short, Little Devil Darlin, as an early talkie cartoon. As his entertainment legacy grew over the years, Joey's optimism and pioneering spirit never wavered. Starting with just a pencil and a dream, he created this studio. Here at Archgate Pictures, we strive to continue his dream and see Bendy live on. Dreams come true. Ooh, it's a little creepy, because that's actually what happened. So, uh, from what I remember, wasn't Henry Stein actually the true creator of Bendy, and Joey Drew was just the businessman that took credit for it? But I guess uh, history is written by the winners, right? So, 
Maybe it'll, maybe it'll fill us in a little bit on what happened in the first game to catch anyone up who's watching that may not be familiar. Uh, but yeah, Joey Drew Animation Studios, they were wildly successful with their character, Bendy. Um, it wasn't enough for Joey, though. He was a greedy capitalist. And he created, well, he didn't, he like bought, who created the ink machine? Uh, the ink machine is basically like a, a 3D printer with ink where it would like use ink to make objects in 3D. And he was like, what if we did it with people and then create all these monsters and stuff? That's the short end, to, end of it. Wait, where'd Wilson go? Oh my God, I didn't even see you. You blend in. But yeah, there's all these characters. There's the Butcher Gang. There's Bendy, there's Alice Angel, there's Boris, this guy, you know, so, there you go. It's a pretty typical, uh, cautionary tale. Against greed. So, this is actually, a uh, Ink Machine replica here. Looks like someone's been messing with the exhibits. The real one's there much bigger. Be something on each of these pedestals. Audrey. Sweet Audrey. Do an old man a favor and go find them. I'll tend to the power. Okay. Yeah. Sure, buddy. But yeah, um, there's the little 3D ink printer. Okay, we gotta go find the exhibits or, what is this? What am I doing? Okay, so we got a wrench. Uh, press E to play. Oh. Okay, so I put the wrench there. Okay, so I gotta find a book, a cog, an inkwell. A music note and a bendy doll. Oh, okay. I thought it was gonna like show exactly what I need to get. Um, right, so I'm guessing they're all around here. So like, The Illusion of Living, which is Joey Drew's book. They actually did end up making some bendy books. I haven't read any of them. Oh, okay, here we go. You just have to walk right up to them. I thought they were gonna be a little more obvious. There's the Bendy doll. Can I please have it? Where are you placing all these, Audrey? This is a rather bulky item. Um. Oh, right, for the music note one. So we'll take a vinyl record. And we were supposed to have a cog, weren't we? Is there a cog somewhere? Oh, here. What? Are you sure you want to take that? It looks like it fits perfectly right there. What? All right, then. Let's do... I mean, it's just going to automatically do it. I don't have to choose, right? Okay, so we'll put the record there. The inkwell there. These puzzles, man, they are tough. Put the cog there. Um, put the book there, and then... The bendy doll last. Here we go. Great. By the way, you could buy this at BendyTheInkMachine.com for twenty nine ninety nine. Hi, are you done? Only one thing left to do: pull that switch. Okay, this seems weird, but okay. Well, it is done. Wilson? Oh, Audrey. The things you've set in motion. Oh, we turned on the... It's an actual ink machine. It's calling us, my dear. Can't you hear it? What? Shh. Don't fret. We're going home. Stay back. Listen to me, Audrey. Pay attention to these last words, because very soon, you will forget everything. Let go! Come find me, Audrey. Come find me, and I'll show you your purpose. I'll show you the truth. The 
This can't be real. And now we die. What are you doing? If you're wondering how the ink works, no one knows. Magic. The ink is magic. Okay, so, great. Are we playing as Audrey? Or are we done with that? And now we're playing a new character later? Was that just the intro death of an unimportant character? You got some magic ink on them. Oh, Audrey. What's happened to you? Why are you talking like Wilson right now? <laughs> to yourself. Okay. Welcome home. Relax. The man who killed the ink demon. Wilson knows your purpose. Okay. Interesting. It's kind of like it's a custom made reality almost. Huh. Somebody's crying an awful lot, though. No, I don't really have much tolerance for that. Every great story begins in mystery. Although things may be dark at the start, the truth will illuminate your way. Don't be afraid of who you are. Fear only what you may become and banish it away. Your best pal. Okay. Memos are stored in the pause menu. In the pause menu? <gasps> Look at us! This is us now. Spoilers, look away. Okay, great. Find a way out, let's go. And there's all this stuff down here that we have zero of. Okay. Let's go. Do I have to press E on the... Oh, those are missing. These rungs are missing. I've got to find things to uh, replace them with. I get it, okay. I thought they were highlighted for me to click on. You know, you don't really need those rungs. They're nice to have, but... I would just kind of skip them, I think. All right. Jeez, you think I was drowning kittens the way these people are looking at me? I ain't never seen such disappointment in a poison's eyes. <laughs> But this is the way of things. If management can't pay the bills, then the bank takes the goodies back. Still, it does break me a bit knowing how much I love them old cartoons this place used to make. Oh well, times change, life moves on. Telly Westa. Thanks, Telly. We're so happy to hear from you. And it'll be great to hear from you again. I'll get to make that awful voice once more. Yeah, that's the first thing I would do, is wind that thing up. Look, it's Alice Angel. Isn't that nice? I actually like the fire animation on the candle. I mean, uh, this game series has always had fantastic art direction. Um, that's never been, been my issue with it at all. So, it comes as no surprise. I was curious. Attention, children of the machine. He's so funny. This is Wilson, your friend. Hi, Wilson. Your protector. For 211 days, you've lived without the ink demon haunting your steps. I banished him away, tore his body in two. In return, I asked. Just a little favor. Among you, there is a stranger, a young lady. Bring her to me. 
Interesting. Um, we're talking about me. It's like we're in Wilson's little ink kingdom. Joey, Jack and I have been wondering if you could meet with us concerning the Considering the current situation, we've been with you for many years, and we feel we have contributed to the success of Bendy in the past. Our interest is purely in keeping this company strong. We just want to help however we can. Let's talk. Sammy Lawrence. Now, Sammy, if memory serves, was the music guy back in the day. Um, this must this must be a memo before he turned into a uh, weird ink cult dude, because if I remember correctly, when you meet him in the first game, He's covered in ink and he wants to sacrifice you to the to the ink or something like that. It, right? Or I, I can't really remember. Oh, search. Oh, okay. I collected a gent part. Interesting. So this one is to hide. And the other one is to search. Got it. Okay. But yeah, I was wondering when we we're gonna get back to this aesthetic. Because uh we were in like regular not photorealistic graphics, but, you know, good enough. Colorful graphics, I guess. Um, and now we're back to kind of the aesthetic of the first game, which is basically one color, kind of monochromatic. What's up? The ink drips. Darkness has spread through the studio. The reaching shadows creep around you. Something hungers for your corrupted flesh. It is close. So very close. It strains to grab you, choke you from behind. Ooh, kinky. You will you will feel its breath upon your neck. It is close. Sincerely, evil. Um, yeah, great. Thanks for that edgy note. Is this a waypoint? <laughs> it was a bendy head shaped waypoint. My biggest jump scare. Hey, this is one of the butcher gang. Oh my god, is that a little ink intestine he has? Surely not. Surely not a disemboweled butcher gang member. What's going on? Hey, we got an audio log. I just received the call. Oh. Joey Drew is dead. What a quiet end to an extraordinary life. Last I heard, he was staying in some cramped apartment downtown. You could practically hear the rats through the telephone when he called me last April. In spite of that, old Joey sounded quite happy when last we spoke. More like the excited, hopeful young man I knew once upon a time. <sighs> well, farewell, my friend. What will become of your creations now? Audrey's pretty aloof about this whole thing. Okay, so for some reason there's no subtitles for that audio log. I don't know why, because there's subtitles for everything else. Um, but basically that was uh, that guy was saying, you know, Joey's dead. He didn't understand why Joey was uh, happy last time he talked to him. Um, so wait, so we got a baseball. Is there something we're going to use the baseball for? I guess we walk back. Oh wait, no, we got we we go up here. We go up here. Okay. Good thing I spotted that. Eesh. Sometimes I just don't look up. One of my flaws when playing games. Hide, search. See, that's gonna drive me crazy. Uh, okay, there's actually nothing in here, I guess. Okay, we did the security override. Oh, is that Boris that we just saw? Boris? Oh, that's it. Okay, so Interestingly, I don't know if this was uh, on purpose or not, but um, in the first game There's a part where you see somebody walk around the corner you go and there's just a bendy cutout um, Might have been an actual person we saw though Or it might just be them recycling Similar ideas somebody just went through the vent I guess so yeah bendy's their Mickey Mouse Boris is their goofy Okay, we're back in the... Right. Heavenly Toys. This is an area they introduced in Chapter 3 of the... Ink Machine game. As the winds are changing around here... I'm asking myself, Sean, what are you doing? 
There's a whole world out there, places to see, a family, a family to spend me days with. This here job is just a job. I don't have others like it. No worry there. But the important thing is, we should remember to live. I think it's time I did just that. Sean Flynn. I'm so sorry about that. I'm so sorry. I have Irish, I have Irish ancestry on both sides of the family, so it's okay for me to do that accent, but you can't do that. I've decided. <laughs> Look at me, I'm, I'm like, oh, I won't, I promise I won't go to every nook and cranny around here and find, uh, find ever, all the collectibles. I won't care, I won't care, why would I care? And then I, uh, surprise, I care. I'm already doing it. Oh, that sucks. If I remember correctly, Sean Flynn, the guy I just read the note from, was uh, originally voiced by Jacksepticeye. I'm curious if he also voices in this one. Okay. I was waiting for the QTE there. Running hide. I'm hiding. He'll he won't see me. Oh, he's so slow. Oh, he's scared. What is it? Well, the humming stops. Food. Low on health. Grab a snack. Survival will mean some dangerous situations. When you are low on health, you will need to eat. Locate hidden food stashes all throughout the studio. Oh, okay. Oh, wow. A hidden food stash right here. It's... Bacon soup. Right. Mmm, bacon soup. I wouldn't drink too much of that if I were you. It helps it is. you up. But the aftertaste, it's not so good. Easy now, I'm not gonna hurt you. Looked like you needed some help. Don't touch me. What are you? Ugh, what is this horrible place? Yeah, I remember my first day down here. I know, it's scary. But you're actually pretty lucky. The machine could have turned you into a searcher. You mean that, that thing that attacked me? No, that's a piper. And he's part of a gang, so be careful. Get it right. I don't understand any of this. I can't think. It hurts. You'll catch on pretty quickly, if you can stay alive. Lesson one. Searchers don't have legs, and they tend to swarm. Look, it's not good to stay in one place for too long around here. Keep moving, and stay close to the shadows. Take my advice. Head to the upper levels. It's safer there. Can I come with you? You can't. I'm sorry. I have a wolf. He doesn't care for strangers. A wolf? Like I said, you'll catch on. Good luck. I hope we meet again. Oh, and one more thing. Above everything else, stay away from the ink demon. What's an ink demon? Oh, you'll know him when you see him. He Aren't you working smile, on... And he kills anything that moves. Wait! What's your name? They call me Alice. I'm not very fond of it. I'm Audrey. Well, Audrey. Welcome to the studio. Okay, Chap ch chapter one, chapter one, drawn to darkness. Okay, so I don't know what we, I guess we played the prologue just now. So, so just to clear some things up. So I noticed as soon as she came on screen that the subtitle identified her as Alice and she identified her as Alice Angel. Um, she said she wasn't a fond of it. That's because there was an Alice Angel in the first game but she was killed by that character, whose name is actually Allison. She's the voice actress for Alice Angel. Um, well, the second voice actress, the true voice actress. Um, I'm interested why she's going by Alice now, because she retained her identity. The, the original Alice Angel was the original voice actress, disgruntled. Her name was Susie? I think, and um, she got a little lost in the sauce. Uh, thought she actually was Alice. 
However, Allison retained her identity and she, uh, yeah, I don't know. So I'm, I'm, I'm curious why. It seems like she's still okay, though. Like, she's a good character. Around here, it's just best to stay out of sight. Don't ever go run into some place if you don't know what's in there. If you attack a problem head on, you're going to find yourself in trouble. And that's just foolish. You got to watch, listen, and when the time is right, push forward. Your best pal. Who's my best pal? Curious. Search this. No, are you sure I can't take any of these? Oh, <gasps> look, there's me. How come it's the 1970s, but I look like I'm from the 20s? I feel like there's gonna be some sort of twist with that, maybe. I don't know. Okay, before we go through there, um, I'm gonna check back here. Oh, I'm already doing it. No, I'm already doing it. and I'm not rewarded for it. Where is the toy man? Okay. We'll go there in a second. Yeah, so those Gen Corporation boys are kind of strange. Every time I come back to work, they put in even more of their pointless gadgets. Now, last sounds week, like Danny huh, DeVito. They, uh, they built some kind of, I don't know, electrical towers over in the animation alley. This week, they added security codes for opening doors. Jeez, what kind of work do they think we do here anyways? Last I checked, we make toys and silly cartoons. <laughs> this ain't Fort Knox, you know what I mean? Now, it's my job to look over these shipping invoices and remember a bunch of random numbers? Yeah, no freaking thank you! I'm just gonna... I'm just gonna record the dog code here so we don't forget it. <clears throat> All right. The code is four... Five, one. Four, five, one. If uh, Mr. Drew or Mr. Gray asks, you didn't hear it from me, okay? Thanks, Dale. Four, five, one. Got it. Oh. Nice. Ooh, tasty eats chips. And gent parts. Got it. Heavenly toys. Do they have any bending ink machine merchandise by any chance? For a very affordable price of $29.99? He sees everything. Oh. It seems that Archgate Studios, in all its misplaced admiration was so eager to absorb the life's work of that crooked charlatan joey drew they didn't fully realize what they had acquired call it fate that i just happened to be there on the loading dock that morning when the delivery boys dropped one of the crates it smashed open and inside there was something truly special. A mass of yellow steel and beautiful rivets. Some kind of machine. No one knew what it was. So the fools put it on display for all to see. But I could tell that this crude device held secrets. Secrets that could be mine. You know, it kind of annoys me that Wilson, like, as soon as he appears on screen, he's just so over-the-top evil, and then he actually turns out, as far as we know, to actually be the big bad guy. It's just, but it's it's just the amount of heavy-handed that I've come to expect from this game series, so I guess I shouldn't be, um, surprised, you know? It said turn around, he sees everything. Oh, it's it's just another one of these walls. I keep missing these. Okay, I'm so sorry. Didn't mean to I'll, I'll give you your privacy. Also, I can't I can't go in there for some reason. Can I just hop down? No, I have to climb down. Am I gonna turn around and see something? 
Wilson knows everything. He sees everything. I wonder if the ink machine can create like a pocket dimension. And that's kind of what was happening in the first game. Like Joey created like a pocket dimension to trap Henry and all the characters. And then that's what Wilson's done now. Like the ink machine can't just, doesn't just create um, physical objects, like 3D objects. It also creates realms. It's an upgrade. I can upgrade my health or my stamina. Um, unstable ink. Okay, let's uh, upgrade stamina. I, I consumed a thick ink canister. <laughs> Ooh, nice thick ink canister. Oh, look, some keys. Giant keys. Unlock maintenance gate. Um, I got some bacon soup. I guess you just automatically eat it. A boar is plushy. I wonder if there's a place I can order this online at an affordable price of $14.99. Yeah, you done? I moved you out of the way. Caution, keep close. Yeah, that's not gonna happen. Um, unlock. All right, with the keys. Let's take a look right here. That was one of the butcher gang, I think. They're like little flunkies that patrol around. Not a big deal. Okay. Thanks. Are we gonna see something at the end of the hall? No, 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 this is actually like, a, it's like a shimmy point. Instead of shimmies, this game has, um, crouches. Where'd you go? Save your game anytime in the pause menu. Oh, I don't have to do that another day, another dollar stuff that the first one did. Another day, another dollar. It's like you would come up to these things. Well, not these things exactly, but... And then you would press it and you would like check in and check out. Everyone knows that a happy work environment needs a place where you can sit back and enjoy something tasty. I'm Joey Drew and you're standing in our grand expensive new employee break room. My company family always deserves the best. By partnering with Briar Label and Tasty Vens, I'm able to provide the most delicious treats at a very cheap cost to our workers. Of course. Yeah. Is this open? Oh, I need to get something to maybe hit that. Oh. oh. <gasps> donut! Eat donut! Okay, look. Somebody took a bite out of that one. We're not eating that one. We only eat whole donuts. Thank you very much. Oh. Gent. Heart and Gent Battery. Now, Gent's a company that worked with Joey Drew Animation Studios. Gent Battery Casing. I can't remember exactly what they helped them with. Is this like underwater? What's, what's going on in there? Okay, let's go this way. Put him up! Hey, you over there, put him up! Yeah! I'm gonna knock you in next Friday, you see? Joy in work, trust in Joey. Okay. Yeah, that's not really gonna work out for anyone. Do I take the, no. I thought it was like a flashlight or something. Okay. I guess I'll head back over there some other time. Please have tickets ready for inspection. Locked again? This is getting old. Did the key break? Okay, we gotta get a weapon to break the lock. Okay. You sure you don't wanna create something over here? With, uh, with some parts? No? Audrey, it's Alice. Can you hear me? Yeah. Hello? Audrey? Oh, I'm so glad you're all right. 
Uh, Alice, I think you and I have very different definitions of all right. Where are you? Animation department entrance? But it's locked up tight. Good. That means you're heading up. Look for anything you can use to break in. Maybe there's a gent pipe nearby. What was that? There's something in here. Audrey, find that gent pipe. Now. I bet you it's not that urgent. But yeah, we'll look around. Ooh. Gent toolkit. Hudson Doyle. Oh my god. Management has come up with a new way to reward us employees. Instead of paying us bonuses or overtime, they've started handing out these little tokens that you could spend in company vending machines. Besides that, these tokens ain't got value of any kind. Obviously, a lot of people didn't like the idea. But the best part about the whole thing is that within a week, someone figured out how to make fake tokens that fools the vending machines. We started calling the fake ones slugs. Now, I can't remember the last time I seen a real token around here. Them slugs are everywhere. Probably costing the studio a ton of money and snacks alone. Hudson Doyle. Thanks, Hudson. He's keeping track of things. Oh, 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 free money, free money. Tasty eats chocolate nuts. <laughs> Hang on, I hear some, I hear some snake hissing over here. You okay? All right, we need to find a gent pipe is what it says. Oh, I'm ready for something different in my career. I've built steel companies from the ground up, dabbled in petroleum, even tried this to live Nathan Arch. once. That Nathan Arch, they used to say, he's got the magic touch. But I'm hungry for a bit of fun, I think. Something both the masses and I can enjoy. Oh, sorry, Nathan. We're busy. There's the gent pipe. How do you know that? Way too dark in there. Need to get the lights working first. How do you know how this place works, Audrey? You were so confused earlier, which is so funny considering. Aren't aren't you working on like the biopic for Joey Drew or whatever? She hasn't even made like any kind of connection to that. Um, okay, we got... Who's in there? Oh no, it's a lost one. Open up. If I find you, I'm gonna rip your face off. Nice, I can't wait. The best way to avoid trouble is not to be seen. Remain crouched to stay low and keep your footsteps from being heard. Watch your enemies carefully so you may pass through safely. Something detects you, finds a place to hide, or get away fast. Okay, so I'm... I'm stealthed. So this is a this lost is one. Path. Mine. No one can take it from me. I love talking enemies. They're so funny. Yeah, he's staying over there. Can't bring with something. What the fuck? How did he detect? Is it because I stood in the ink? Let's see if I can find one. Oh, it's always something, isn't it? Find the fuse. Is it because I stood in the ink? I think it. I think it is. Okay. There's so many objectives right here. It's a little complicated. Yeah, I like I like stood in the ink and it, he detected me somehow. Can I lean? No, if you press Q, nothing happens. Oh, peek. Okay. I gotta go back and get a fuse. So don't step in the ink. Okay, I'm coming back. Thank you. Slightly annoying waypoint. Alright, we're going 
this way. Maybe we can start. Kitchen's oh closed. gosh. I like the little Cthulhu face these guys have. At least crouch. Hide. Oh, you can hide inside? Nice, actually. That's kind of cool. I was about to say, this is kind of... A weird place to stealth. really fast, isn't he? I don't understand. I came out of that thing and then he immediately turned around. And smacked me. I thought I was still stealthing. <sighs> Stealth is such a difficult thing to get right in these games. The fuse was back there, by the way. Um, why do I have my hand up right now? It said I couldn't interact with it during combat. Excuse me. Okay. Dude. It's just annoying, man. I'm glad I'm glad he's stupid though. It wants you it wants you to crouch, but it's like you move so slowly. I'm gonna have to eat some of that donut. Oh my god. Hello? Cannot interact during combat. Well, this is great. Let's listen to the audio log, shall we? Hello? Oh no. I've got an idea. Here's what we gotta do. We gotta wait for him to go back in there and then I've gotta hide in that barrel right there. Please sit there for a while. I'm gonna get in here. Yeah, because he was about to spot me. Ugh, jeez. Well, um, you know, I will say I'm having a fine time so far. However, this first sequence I'm not real impressed with. Where did everyone go? Why don't they answer? Oh, what are you doing with the register, bro? Just... <sighs> what were you trying to get out of it? Go, please. <gasps> what? How much? Dude, I do not understand. How much noise are you making coming out of these things, you know? 
How come I can hide in these things right in front of them? But I can't hide in the barrels. Let's see if I can do this. This barrel's the key, though. We gotta hide here. Now, the thing is... If he's heading back this way again... Okay, actually... Jeez. Okay. I only got it. Well, happy birthday to me. Okay, we got the fuse. The fuse box. Now is he coming back in here? I don't believe in you. Leave me alone. I think he's coming back in here, which is frustrating because there's nowhere to hide. I might just sprint out of here. Yeah. Yeah, not real. Not real impressed with this. Okay. Can't believe that works, but I'll take it. Uh, pretty miserable first stealth section, uh, frankly. Um, is this where I came in? Yeah, I think it is. I think maybe it'll be better when I get a weapon. However, I think one of the weakest parts of the first game was the combat, so... I'm not holding my breath, but I hope that the combat in this game is actually competent. It would be a nice change. Don't stand in the ink, apparently. Maybe that has nothing to do with why he caught me. Maybe I was just... Maybe he just turned around and I was right there. Maybe it was my fault. Lights are on. Time to get that gent pipe. Nice. That doesn't open. Where's that other guy? Is he not around here? Don't cry, me. I want to die. No, he's still here. Uh... Okay, now I've got to get... Let's hope that he doesn't go to the left side. Okay, it's over here that we want to open. Right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. The atrium supply. Okay, now we're going to get that weapon. I'm close the door behind me just because I feel like it. At the end of every crumbling empire, you gotta hide the treasures. Mr. Cohen brought me in to catalog and secure some of Joey Drew's more special assets in places no one will ever find them. Sure, that sounds completely legal, right? Anyway, I'll be leaving some clues around so we can find them later. Just remember, this nonsense wasn't my idea. So, here's my first little hint. I finally found a use for those silly motivational posters here in the atrium offices. They're sure to make quite an impact. Oh God, I can't believe I just said that. I can't believe you said that either. Okay, that's locked. Okay. Let's pick up, oh. Okay. We'll play with fire, no question about it. Foist. Gent comes in here and puts thick, heavy pipes over everyone's head. Must weigh a ton. Then Doey comes up the place for tours to the general public. Are we really thinking this through? For Pete's sake, Sammy's music department is constantly flooded. And while I was given a tour last week, we almost lost the whole dang wall when the valve blew out. Stupid tour group applauded, thinking I was part of the show. I know Joey's looking to throw up some cash lately, but this... This is just asking for a disaster to strike. One good accident, and there's going to be a landslide of trouble. Hudson Doyle. Yeah, you, you seem like a guy that would have the last name Doyle, for sure. No offense to anyone with the last name Doyle. I just always think of a dumb mobster when I think of Doyle. I think of, like, Joe Pesci being like, Ah, Doyle, come on! Come on, Doyle! Get your act together. Okay, I'm sorry. At least now I can defend myself. 
We'll see about that. Gent pipe, a weapon of many uses. You're all in one tool for surviving many dangers. This gent pipe has many useful functions and upgrades. Once you find the right parts and schematics to use, press left mouse button to attack enemies and break objects. Okay, well, that's uh, that's good, you know. Ooh, chips. The dark puddles are calling. Right, right. This weird like cult aspect to the to the ink machine. The ink, it's like some some kind of god to them, or... I'm gonna rip you alive! Okay, that's something. Man, they are so... This is so Bioshocky. In a good way, sort of. I mean, I'm... I'm down for any game... To take some inspiration from Bioshock. Uh, it's one of those games to me that I'm like, well, this is one of the best games of all time. I know not everyone shares that opinion, but it's just good in so many ways. I wasn't wowed by the combat just now, but it's okay. It's... What the fuck is so many? I mean, okay. Now that I've fought three of them at once, I will say a weakness so far is that I feel like I'm just spamming left mouse button. Is there something else I'm supposed to be doing? I feel like I'm just sitting there like... <laughs> it, I think it would help if there were some kind of tactics. Am I... Are there tactics? I'm just missing them. I heard some of the workers from down the hall last night talking about storming Joey Drew's office. They were using some colorful language. Oh my. Banging their fists on the tables and chairs. It was the same bunch who whistled at me yesterday. Things must be getting serious. That accountant, Grant Cohen, just walks from his desk down to the men's room and back all day. Over and over again, gripping his stomach. Kind of green in the gills. I can't tell if something he ate isn't agreeing with him or if he just can't take the pressure anymore. Joey's got a plan, he keeps saying. Gent is making something special. I really hope he's right. I may just be a secretary, but this place has a magic I don't want to see end. Sally Newt. Who's Grant Cohen? Man, I was doing so good. I was on a roll. Every time they mentioned a character, I was like, oh, I remember them. They were... Who's Grant Cohen? I can't remember. There's so many characters. That Wilson, he's everywhere, yet he's nowhere. I don't know how he does it. It's madness. Madness! What if he's inside my mind? What if he hears my thoughts? Can you hear me now, Wilson? Can you? You won't get me. I've got a plan. If I tear out my brain, then you can't hear my mind. Ha! I'll show you. I'll defy you. All hail the ink demon. Hail! He's not dead, I tell you. He will rise again, and his dark revenge will be terrible! Yeah, yeah, you sound like a rational person. Definitely want to follow you to the ends of the earth, am I right? Oh, we're back here. Nice. I will say, glad there's loot. It's kind of nice. I I don't mind the looting so far. Um, it's kind of nice. And I also like that there's like inaccessible parts and then we get an item that allows us to get to those parts. It doesn't feel like the first game did in terms of it being a constant fetch quest. Oh, where? Oh, this is, I, I've been waiting for this. Where are you? What, did I already kick your ass? Huh? Fully charged gent pipe required. I don't know what that means. We gotta break the lock, I just remembered. Okay. Oh, it's just, it's just this shortcut that I just made. That's cool. I hear some hissing and shit. Oh. <laughs> That's some alien isolation shit. I was wondering, I was wondering, I was like, what happens if I walk underneath this? Okay. Nothing now, it's only when you hear the hissing. Got it. So what are all these crafting materials for, would you say? I eat those. Yep, yep, we take those. Can I bop these? No. Work hard, work happy.
The dark puddles send a gift. You are one of us now. Hmm. The illusion of living. Oh. I didn't think I could actually pick it up. Cool, I guess. Keep getting crafting materials. I wonder, cause like, okay, if I go here, look, I've got all these crafting materials. I assume at some point I'll be able to use them. Hi. He inked himself. You don't have to kill me. Banish. The powers of the ink are yours to command. Use your powers to send monsters back to the dark puddles. While crouched and undetected, interact with an enemy from behind to banish them. Banishing also restores a portion of your health. Now, it, so this is an optional way to deal with these guys? I wonder if it's going to have an effect like the little sisters do in Bioshock, where you can choose to um, kill the little sisters or like, like harvest them for Adam or uh, redeem them or whatever it is. Okay. Banish. It's kind of sad. You don't have to kill me. Uh, well, I mean, I, I didn't. I banished you, which is somehow different and better. Buy times five. Oh, 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 it costs five to buy an, a tasty eat. I think I'm okay, as annoying as it is to see um, my health constantly be on the screen. Gent card required, right? We don't have that yet. Oh, hi. Okay, so these guys... Those guys are pretty tough, actually. Card exchange. That's that. This whole setup is so Bioshock. I know I keep saying it. Create one gent card. Okay. Oh, and it requires those. Okay. And I don't have enough for two. Is he still walking around? So what's this? Use card. Oh. You just get a bunch of loot? Okay. Right. So... Oh, there's a cutscene here. That's one leap of faith I definitely won't make. Find a way across the abyss. So what? We gotta get in here? Oh, okay. I see. All right. Bendy and little devil darling. Oh, this is sold. It's wait. Did I just do something? Oh, I opened the. Let's just do this. Oh, wow. You can't do you can't do like a charge attack and you can't block. You can only swipe. What? He was in the exact same spot. I wonder if he was the same character. See, he's got a dodge. Did you see that? He dodged backwards. That would be cool if I had that. Do I not have anything like that? Here's where the magic is made. I'm Joey Drew, and our story oh begins quite literally in one of our many writer rooms, just like There they this. are. That's right. All Full cast. Right where pencil meets paper, the magic begins. 
Wow, what a visionary. People may say that seeing is believing, but I think the fine folks down in the audio department might disagree. What's oh my gosh. Battery refill. Now we're good. Battery refill on what? Look. <laughs> Joey, shut the hell up, man. So did you... Security lock. So what am I what am I supposed to be doing right now? Ah. Uh, ah, uh, okay. I thought I was supposed to be doing something in that room. I guess not. Well, thanks for all this stuff, I guess. Nice loot. We're in the final days here. I can tell. People are packing things into boxes. Tools are going missing. You can smell the panic in the air around the studio. But us gent boys, we're just wait watching from the shadows. We lock the doors. We keep our research going. Mr. Gray already gave us a little wink. All is well. When one ship sinks, another one leaves the dock. I just need to keep my ink machine safe in the chaos. It's the key to so many discoveries. Thomas Connor. Now, Tom was in the last game, too. He was uh, Boris. He was hanging out with Allison. It's interesting that we saw Allison without him. Does he die? I can't remember. I don't know. Do any of them die? Oh, this is the security lock. So I can go to the next room now. Got it. Oh, you hear that? Oh, that was a bad guy. Not a big deal. Shimmy point. Oh, look, it's Bendy. Look at the little guy. He's so cute. <laughs> Are you lost, little fella? Bendy? You're real? Oh, this is amazing. It's okay. I won't hurt you. I promise. It's okay. See? I'm your friend. I won't hurt you. Oh, oh I'm sorry. I, I didn't oh, know. Oh, no. I promise. I'm so, so sorry. <laughs> Damn it. No. All. What's happening to you? I don't know. I'd say it's like... Uh, what? Why are you caring about uh, offending the little ink monster? Maybe you should offend the little ink monster. Ever think of that? No visitors go away. Don't not. Who's out there? Is that you, Phil? I told you I'm not opening the door until you bring me my pictures. I drew them. I want them back. So can you not see? Oh, there's five. Search Animation Alley for pictures. Okay. Yeah, I guess I'll do that. Uh, what? I searched it for no reason. There's nothing in there. How did you do that? We're just not going to question it, I guess. Go in there. Ah, I see. Another gap in the floor that we can't get past. Okay. I want these. You have to crouch for them. So I guess you can't hop across this, yeah? Yeah, your 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 head will hit the ceiling. Okay. The power belongs to him. What? Wilson? Is that what you're talking about? Who cares, bro? Wait, can I open this? You can, but there's nothing in there. <laughs> I love getting rewarded for exploration like that. With a big fat nothing. Wouldn't be a horror game without moving through the vents. His eyes see all. His claws tear and thrash. His whispers turn your mind into dark, unspeakable trash! 
Wait, are you, are you rhyming right now? Oh, no. Listen for the heartbeat drone. Your doom is close at hand. The ink demon is both beast and lord. His powers too vast for us to understand. <laughs> Death is fast. Death is near. His reign will last beyond your fear. Oh, I'm... Bud, stick with your day job, okay? It's, uh... Have they all rhymed? Have the other ones rhymed too? Hang on. Let's let's check all the unknown. Are they all no drips studio you flesh close behind neck close? No, that's not it. Nowhere madness thoughts you plan ha hail you terrible. Yeah. Why did that one rhyme? The last one that we that we found. How odd. Thanks, bud. Oh, I can still see. He talks, the ink demon. Nice. Oh, you can. I forgot you can get rid of the cutouts. Oh. Does it? Why are you crawling around in vents? If you're so powerful. Okay. Somebody's a little edge lord. Oh, to devour it, huh? Ooh, a rubber ducky. Or whatever material this is. Picked up a memory. Well, is there a way to... Oh, the baseball was a memory. A baseball signed by the legendary Bud Lewis. This would be an exciting gift for any young baseball fan. A rubber duck still dusted with the decay of old soap. Many happy washings were companioned by this yellow friend. Okay. Are they just collectibles? he gave up some ink demon huh he walks among the believers ink demon the ink demon is near his power is infinite his evil is complete be alert for his approach and hide at first warning if you stay out in the open you'll be consumed oh Guys, chapter two, the demon's domain. This is it. This is us. He walks among the believers. All right, so we are done with um, chapter one. So he's around, right? Is there a place to hide? I gotta hide from the edge ward. is coming hide so I finally hid I don't know where he is now here I'll go back to the other corner I just wanted to look at the chapter title um yo yo ink demon you done over there you done with the vocal fry bro can I come out of this barrel now or I'm not sure I'm done I'm coming out. Yeah. I'm not gonna hide in there forever, okay? Ooh, a battery. 
piece of candy. What? There's a chain there. Get the chain. I just collected that thing. I'm not sure. I don't understand. Do I need to like collect a bunch of pages or? I know I passed a bunch of stuff earlier. What the hell? Okay, let's go in here first. Instead of if I stayed out in the open, I'd be gulp consumed. Sure. I got another gent card. Oh, oh, there's a free one right there. You can get free ones. Sick, dude. So I can hide here if I need to. I can hide here. Okay, this opens up. Back here. Right, I gotta get the guy's paintings. That's what I was getting. I got one of them. Right? Isn't that what, isn't that what I got? Oh, look here. You can get subtitles for the audio logs. Okay. So I, I think maybe next time I have them open, I'll, or when I'm listening to one, I'll just have it open there too. So if I go back through the, these vents that I was, oh wait, we gotta go up here too, actually. Well, okay, before we go back up the vents, I'm gonna go backwards first because there is a bunch of stuff that I missed back here the spooky music is starting up again so I don't know if like this is where the ink demon is active or what I think it is you hear that I don't know if I'm supposed to use like audio cues to figure out when it's safe or what. Yeah, so see like right here. Here's another one of those paintings. And this is where it started, okay. Yeah, I don't know. This part's kind of weird because it's like... I'm not sure I understand... How this works. Alright, we'll go back into the vent. We've got two of the paintings. I think I've got three more to get. I'm gonna go up in the vents here. I think this is where we can get the rest of them. Okay, that fan's not working. Oh, we can eat a sandwich. We can eat a half-eaten sandwich in a vent! There's no way that thing isn't, like, mummified by now. Completely stale. What? Do I hop down from there? I'm trying to use the audio cues to see if it's safe. I actually, I don't know. Okay, here's another one. Oh, now it says that. Was there a hiding spot? Consumed. Death is only the beginning. Okay, load autosave. Well, where's my autosave? Oh my god, how far back are you putting me? Okay, so it tells you when the ink demon is coming, and other than that, you can just kind of roam around as you see fit. Okay, gotcha. So, like. So, like right now, there's no audio cues I need to pay attention to. I'm not in a constant state of danger. That's totally fine. Okay, before I pick up the page. Oh, what the? Oh, you hide there. Okay, so. Here we go. And then you're safe. Okay, I got it. So just be aware of 
hiding spots and and that when you pick up a page you're gonna have to hide although since there's five pages they may let's see if they'll do it for this one no there's an auto save they're gonna do it for the last one though what's going on okay let's go to the left first it looks like it's nothing but there's some loot here Yeah? Was this thing I was supposed to see? Oh, this is kind of a vent maze, isn't it? Is this where I... No, I've already, I've already bopped that one open. Okay, so I'm not really sure... Does it go this way? I already got that one. Okay, so... This actually, I mean, this is this is the returning path, I think, right here. Here we go. This is it. God, you move so slowly in the vents. You can't listen to it while you. Uh... Let's listen to it. Oh, it bugged out, and I can't listen to it now because I opened up the menu. Here we go. When you animate, it's so much more than just motion. It's a way of life, an art, a passion. <laughs> Each tiny movement is an emotional trigger to the audience. Get it wrong, and you will lose them. You must live the characters and to draw them you must feel the motions in your mind you are Activate over the top to mister today i'm a clock a dancing timekeeper take a deep breath tick, count tock, to ten tick tock tick tock <laughs> watch my movements see my frames of animation i have so many characters to animate yet Thousands of frames to go. <laughs> but for now, I'm just a clock. <laughs> tick tock. Tick tock. <laughs> My man Bill Danton over here auditioning for the Joker. He's not going to get it, sadly. We'll let you know. We'll let you know, Bill. Um. Yeah, definitely. What? Where's the fifth one? What? Where's the fifth picture? Oh, here's the last one. Okay, it was just off to the side somewhere. Okay, now before... Before we pick it up. That's good. And let's search this real quick. Get some of that. And that's where I'll hide. Okay. It's very nice that it tells you when you're safe. It also kind of ruins it. Just from like a horror perspective. From a game perspective, it's nice because it's like, ugh, now I don't have to guess. I can just move on with my life. All right, so we found all five of the paintings, I think. From what I remember that... You might want to find a glass of water first. You sound like you really need it. Exchange. Oh, this is for uh, a gent card, right? Uh, it's been a couple days, full disclosure, since I last played. I actually had to take a little trip, but we'll, we'll get to that in a second. Um, right. I'll place these. I, I take I take that last sound bite as an admission of defeat from the Ink Demon, so I'm very happy about that. Oh my god! What? Now we just kick his ass? Hey buddy, we found all your works of art, and now we just destroyed you! 
I will say this about the game so far. It's it's surprised me. Bendy and the Dark Revival has surprised me so far with its competency. But then things like that happen, and I'm like, okay, well... Now we're back to fetch quests. Like, meaningless fetch quests, which was one of my biggest problems with the first game. Anyway, alright, well... Do we want to read this? Is the Ink Demon going to come back, or is he is he gone? He doesn't want to mess with us anymore. Let's pick it up. Nobody wants to see my pictures. I've worked so hard on them for so long, and they're all my own original work. I'll have to make people look at them. They'll, they'll see how talented I am. But wait, what if someone looks at them and takes all my precious ideas? No, they can't do that. They're my original characters. Mine! Do not steal! Do not steal! That's a meme. It's a meme from the cringe Sonic fandom. Original character, do not steal. Okay. I'm not against putting little little meme quips and things like that in the game, but... Uh, can I take this? Thank you. Oh, should I actually... Actually, should I go... I can't remember what corner I was in. I think I'm usually in this one because stuff appears in the upper right, isn't it? Oh, it doesn't matter. Well, look at those uh, frames of animation. Audrey has no response, even though this is her passion animation. No response to this one. All right. Okay, I wonder if this is some sort of a puzzle, maybe? So, in frame one, he's uprooted something. There's a little bee. Number two, he looks at the thing with the root. Number three, he plants it. Okay. This, I can't really read what, what it says there, but... Bendy learns about the circle of life! <laughs> How nice! Oh, come on. Just wanna... Can I get that? It's some potato chips. Potato chips? <laughs> I've had this, like, sound clip in my head recently. It's of, uh... Oh, we gotta get the code, right? There's, like, a moment in Toy Story or something where Mr. Potato Head is, like, accusing Woody of something. And, uh... I think it's Bo Peep or somebody who says, like, Potato Head! And I have... I've had that in my head. On and off for, like, a week now. It's driving me crazy. Potato Head! Does anyone else get like that? Like, you just... You don't get a song stuck in your head, you just get like... Why am I just eating all these? You just get like a sound bite from a movie. <laughs> oh, I see. So this is gonna give us the code. We gotta put them in order. Okay, so there. So he puts... He puts it in the ground and he gets chased by the bee. Oh, okay, here we go. I've got it. So, so we do three. And then... Let's see. No, no, no. We do three, one, five, I think, is the order. Because look. Look, he sees it. He picks it. Is that just gonna be like a thing from now on? Anyway, it's three one five. See, he picks he picks the thing out of the ground. The bee comes. He runs from the bee. I'm just gonna assume that that's it. Yeah. That's not it. Oh wait, no, because the thing is still in the ground there. Okay, never mind then. Oh, so this is the order we're supposed to put them in. Okay. I remembered, I just forgot. <laughs> you know what I mean? Okay, so it's, uh... Yeah, it's two, three, five. I think, is it? So, let's try that. We did it. Animation Alley! I'm so excited! Hope you are, too. Come say hello. Why sure, why not? She was the fourth. You good? No? 
You sad? Good things always come in threes. Okay, here we go. So I've decided I'm gonna do this from now on with the audio logs, so we get to hear them, and 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 read them at the same time. Here we go. Good things always come in threes, they say. Bendy, Alice, and Boris. It just works. So when I showed my coworkers my design for a new fourth member of the Butcher Gang, you could almost hear the disgust at the lunch table. A ghost girl, they said. No one's gonna get it. They just laughed at my drawings, crumpled them up like trash. But I'll get Mr. Drew on my side. He'll understand. He's got to. Carly will join the Butcher Gang, and she'll be beloved by all. One way or another, I'll bring Carly to life. Okay. <laughs> She's that good, huh? She's just that good. You can't just come up with another idea. Is this Carly? Is she a ghost girl? I can't tell. Oh. I don't know. Oh no. She was the fourth. Oh. <laughs> they did it to me twice. I was like, oh, what? And then I was like, what? <laughs> oh, for Christ's sake, man. Um, no. I'm dead. It's okay, we just hit an autosave. Okay, so I'm just gonna assume that from now on, the ink demon is just constantly gonna be coming within about five seconds notice. Like that. I was in the middle of monologuing. You can't just jump scare me while I'm in the middle of monologuing. I have to predict it and then I have to smugly say, I knew it afterwards. Okay, so what's... What? What? <laughs> Security lock? Wait, didn't I just... No? Did I not? Oh, it's this! My bad. It's literally just a poofer. See, you can't give me a second time. Oh, that's just going to happen from now on. That's just the way it is from now on, I guess. Okay, so the grand opening by Nathan Arch. I hate that I have to do this, but there's no subtitles for him, so... The papers are signed. The animation staff is hired. Archgate Pictures is open for business. As of 9 o'clock this morning, Bendy and all his little cartoon friends now belong to me. I'll admit it's strange owning a dear friend's legacy, but I think Joy would be content knowing it's safely in my hands. You just gotta believe, he used to say. He was such a showman. Well, I believe, Joey. I wholeheartedly believe. Ah, there's another sucker born every minute, huh? I thought I heard something behind me. Wow, a battery. <laughs> Cool. Here's another thing that I'm coming to terms with, along with the ink demon appearing every five minutes. Uh, am I only collecting loot to craft the cards? Are there other things that I'm going to be able to craft, or is that just it? Because if that's just it, then I'm really not going to care about the loot. I think how much I end up enjoying this game is gonna kinda be predicated on how much exploration is rewarded. Boris? Cause I mean if just if that's if that's all I'm doing is crafting these little cards, then Hey! Wake up! That's fine, you don't have to get up. 
Hi. How did he move so fast? How did he do that? Okay, so see like, yeah, all this stuff. Um, Okay, so I'm bringing the bridge down to go across. Oh, I thought I was gonna go inside it. I go over it. So, okay. Yeah, that's what I was afraid of. Wow, a miracle it was uh, secure enough for me to get across the foist time. <laughs> okay. Take some of that. Oh, fuck off. If that's going to be happening every couple minutes for the rest of the game that is an interesting choice for sure the machine must endure okay uh, one of my favorite horror game tropes is uh writing on the wall like that can i get this <coughs> there's some co uh there's some coins here do i have to you have to crouch okay hello So am I helping you or oh. what? Hello there. Are you looking for the way out? A way out would be nice. Are you stuck in there? <laughs> well, yes. And I'm afraid that means, well, you're stuck too. Can't you move? Not an inch. Uh, perhaps you could get me unstuck? I'll see Did what I can do. Didn't I just see you? teleporting around back out there. Is that, is that a different one? <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay, yeah, this, uh, okay, this, this is kind of awkward. There's nothing else here. You don't know, Audrey. Nope. Don't like it. Doesn't suit you. I'll call you Bobby. Huh? And to say thanks for your feat of rescue, here's a little gift. Something I've learned. Are you giving me a new ability? Mm, there we are. It's passed on. Now, you can move like me. <laughs> oh. Like that. Goodbye, Bobby. Try not to die. <laughs> yeah, I'll um, I'll try my best. The dark puddles will move you. Use your power to flow quickly and undetected over a short distance. Flow is also handy for navigating to areas that are hard to reach. Really? Oh, it's like some dishonored shit. Let's go. So. That's actually surprisingly pretty nice. The power belongs to him. Such neat, even handwriting you have, and the ink is consistent throughout. Very impressive. Um, okay, sorry, it like stuttered there for a second. Uh, we are back here oh uh, there was a place where we needed to like move across wasn't there oh where was that i don't remember we are not alone down here. 
<laughs> yeah, that's just gonna happen over and over again. The right man in the wrong place can make all the difference in the world. Okay. That was pretty cool, actually. Using it offensively like that, that was pretty cool. Teleporting in for the hit. Oh, hey, it's her. <laughs> the one that was down earlier. Oh, wow. The combat is really clunky, though. Sadly. Um... Being able to teleport is fun. But sadly, it doesn't it doesn't feel very fluid. What is this? Oh, it's an upgrade. Oh, nice. Ability permanently up upgrade your ability cooldown. Let's get Stamina, though. That's gonna be what I want the most. Yeah. Okay, so actually, you know what? That is something that we're rewarded for exploring is the ink canister. What the fuck? What the fuck? All right, well, good thing you're not really punished for dying. Yeah. You still had the same amount of health. That's pretty funny. That Butcher Gang guy just came out of nowhere. To oh, God. Um. Yeah. Uh, okay, that was really disconcerting right we're back here now is it back here that I was missing it I can't remember where that pit was somehow I feel like it wasn't this far back was it it was it's this right here the I'm, I'm experiencing some rubber banding right now okay so I can go across the elevator but I can also go in here so why not is there nobody in here? Um, they crawl. You have got a lot. Of phlegm in your throat. You should definitely get that checked out. Get some mucinex or something. I'm serious. You'll feel so much better afterwards. Ah, seriously? No food? No food? <clears throat> You're gonna have to buy some food. Okay. Good, a half-eaten sandwich. That's a great start. Let's look at the trash bin. <laughs> oh boy, this sucks. Okay, here we go. So this is uh, a new audio log, Lance Derby. Let's do it. Something funny's going on around here. Call me suspicious if you wanna, but I know the signs of weirdness when I see them. Don't get me wrong. We've always had visitors around the studio, but lately, we're just getting one kind of visitor in particular. Gent Corporation employees. Tons of them. They're working in the hallways, ripping up the floors, taking the best toilets. You can't even get near the Little Devil Lounge these days. It's starting to feel less like an animation studio around here, and more and more like some crazy scientist's laboratory. It's just plain weirdness. Not the Little Devil Lounge. That's my favorite hangout. Hey, man, you busy after work? We're, uh, some of us are going down to the Little Devil Lounge. Why am I continuing to open all of these? It's because I'm hungry, okay? 
Feeling really stupid right about now. Opening all these for absolutely nothing. Okay, see, I could have just done... <laughs> I could have just done this. Okay, I'm going to stop doing that now. Maybe just one more. Oh, this is a donut! I would have been rewarded for it. You know what? I'm not, I'm not opening these anymore. See, I'll... Uh, I'm not gonna open all these. I'm just not gonna do it. I've been played for a fool already. I'm done. So get this bit of strangeness. That Thomas Carter guy from the gent, he's taking over the back area of the locker room. Guess I'll have to move my little office of cardboard boxes somewhere else. He gave me a call to the door. Can I say to ever go in and clean up? I wrote the code down, put it in my locker. It's the eighth locker over from the poster with the pretty lady on it. But I tells you, if that guy keeps causing trouble for me, I'm out of here. Wally Franks. Sorry, what was that? It was the... So there's... <clears throat> now I'm starting to sound like the Ink Demon. Did these guys play Disco Elysium or something? The Ink Demon kind of sounds like uh, the reptilian brain in the introductory segment of Disco Elysium. So this is the pretty lady, huh? The eighth locker. Wow. Deepest gameplay. All right, I was just gonna open all of them, but I figured out, I'm a sucker. You don't really want to say a sucker's born every minute. You're looking at one right here. I'm a sucker. I'll, I'll go through all those lockers. Like, what there's, what there's secrets inside and all that crap. Go to the gen upgrade station. I got a schematic. Is it this? <laughs> uh, okay, so we can do these upgrades too. Okay, uh, upgrade. It'd be great if I could choose an upgrade. It'd be great if I could choose an upgrade rather than just like doing an upgrade, but I'll, you know, I'll, I'll take it, I guess. <laughs> um, yeah, what? Deposit batteries? Oh, so I can charge my... This is what I use batteries for. That's why I have more batteries than anything else. Access to secure places now granted. When your gent pipe is charged, you can spend its power on opening gent locks around the studio. What's behind them? Only the bravest will seek them out for their rewards. Well, I haven't really been that impressed with the rewards so far for exploration. Uh, oh my god, I'm so... I mean, I say that, but look, look at all this stuff. How many lockers have we opened? They had like absolutely nothing in them. And then this room, all of a sudden they're like, oh, see, have you been looking around? Have you been, have you made sure that you found, there's so much loot in here and there's so little loot everywhere else. What, there's more over here. Um, I remember where this is now. Okay. So how do I check my charges? Is there a way to see? Gent pipe one. Oh, that's, that's the upgrade though. Well, maybe we just go back over here. So does it make me do a full deposit each time? I think I've got 28 batteries. Does it just take one to charge it up again? Does it take a full charge to open one of those? How many did I use? Five. I used up five batteries. Well, I don't know. All right. Oh, wait. I can sneak up behind him, can I? And banish him? Um, he's not after us anymore. 
Okay. Well, I guess I have to kill him. Oh. Let's just go. Okay. Yeah, I... I thought maybe I could banish them, but they are scripted just for combat there. Oh, I don't want Stop it, dude. Give me a break. Alright. So we're gonna go all the way back, and we're gonna open the door by where that guy was patrolling that was really annoying. Next person I yep. see, I'm gonna rip them apart. Just wait and see. The next person I see, I'm gonna rip them apart. <laughs> uh... Excellent world building. Okay, let's get this in there. This is what I was talking about. This is what I wanted to come back to. See... Okay. Fate is a strange thing. Just when you think you've run out of options, it puts a solution in your lap. Andre stopped by my office to say goodbye on his way out the door. As far as everyone else knows, he's gone home to Rio. But... He never made it. Never even made it out of the kitchen. Little Andre slumped over dead right in front of me. Barely even made a sound. And here I was worried about running out of meat for today's special. <laughs> I didn't know he was evil at the beginning of reading this note, but <laughs> apparently he is. Fate is a strange thing. Just when you think you've run out of options. <laughs> it puts a solution in your lap. Chef Buck. Yeah, okay. Wow, everybody's so evil here. Look at all this. I'll take all that. Nothing in there. Now, what's strange here is that, like... Oh, yeah? Chocolate nuts. <laughs> so I open all this, right? However... He's just got to burp. That's all. He's just got to get out a nice big burp. I want to get in here. I thought that's where it went in. Is that not? Okay, I'm on top of this, but I can't get in. And I'm crouched. That's... It doesn't... Okay, you can't blink in. I want to know what that is. Can I get... Can I get back here? How else are you supposed to get into this room? Okay, it's official. You can't get in. Whatever. This is why I'm not going to explore. Says the guy who keeps exploring. John's such a hypocrite. He keeps claiming that he will no longer explore. And yet he continues to do so. <laughs> oh, look. Don't cry for me. I want to die. Oh, I can arrange that. Where are you? I can kill you right now. I don't give a shit. Are you the same one? Were you the one that was uh, belly aching just now? Use card. Okay. Oh, come on, over. You wanna die? Another round of scintillating combat. You thought you'd seen everything? <laughs> What'd you say? <sighs> For fuck's sake, man. Oh, I'm about to die. It's just as well, I, I kind of got lost, so... Wherever it dumps me back, I guess that's where I'll go. I don't know. Where was the auto save? Oh, here we go. Okay. We're doing elevator up now. I don't, I don't. Oh, I gotta get fully charged gent pipe. And I just used it. Oh, that's annoying. What? Oh 
my gosh. No! What? I'm dead. I'm gonna need the ink demon to stop doing that. It's it's officially worn out its welcome, I think, for me. So let me tell you where I'm at right now. I can't figure out where the charging table is. Oh, there's one right here. There's one right here. Ugh. Okay. I just spent like 20 minutes, 30 minutes messing around in animation alley, trying to find where the last one was so that I could open this up. Wow, and it was right there. I just completely missed it. And it turns out it was that way. So yeah, I messed that up. However, I did find a couple audio logs that we can listen to. The keepers see everything. I thought Wilson saw everything. Anyone else you want to tell me sees everything? Apparently a lot of people see everything. Um, it was, here it is. The Snake by Wilson. When I first entered this world, it was an untamed wilderness. A wretched, crawling slum ruled by that grinning demon. From chaos, I brought order. From order, I brought peace. Doesn't really seem like Once it. Once you cut the head from the snake, the snake bleeds out quietly onto the ground. Now, the only question that remains is, what if the head grows back? You are so weird. Um, and then wait, there was another one. Oh, it must not have counted it. There was another audio log I found, but I guess it got rid of it one of the times I died. The ink demon kept killing me. Um, every Your couple of minutes, like clockwork. End as you are consumed into my dark kingdom. Hate. You will find. I know he's supposed to be intimidating, but he's like so over the top that he's kind of funny. Okay, artist rest, exit to service elevators. Well, let's go to artist rest, I guess. Just relax at artist rest. Um. Okay, or we don't go that way at all. Never mind. Now we can go to artist rest. You didn't go to them in the proper order. They got the lost ones ranting and raving like, um, like splicers in Bioshock. It's just, it's just not hitting the way I think that they want it to, is the issue. Um, no pun intended. Because I'm assuming we're only in chapter two out of how many? Five, I assume? I, I would hope that combat would get a little deeper. You know? Can I not? 
Oh, am I in combat? What the? I was like, how come I can't pick this up? Hey, dick bags. Yeah. Oh yeah, oh, you thought you were done, huh? Apparently I'm immortal. The ink brings me back. The ink gives me eternal life. Give me this. All right, we're gonna listen to that in a second. Um, it's After Hours by uh, Walter Scott or something like that. We'll listen to that in a second. Um, okay, push. Oh, you changed the access. Let's go to upper beds first, I guess. Bed station. So this is where people sleep? What? That's horrible. <laughs> Terrible working conditions. Oh, what is this, Amazon? Holy crap. All right, well. Let's, uh, let's keep looking around. All right, let's go ahead and exchange this for... Oh. I've got two junk cards. I made three. I mean, I'm not really sure what else I could do with all these scraps that I keep getting. But, um... Here's a... I put the crane keys in the lost and found office. Some dope keeps leaving them out. Muncie done. Uh, Muncie? Weren't they from... Weren't they from Bendy and the Ink Machine? I can't really remember. Anyway, as I was saying before, I was so rudely interrupted. I'm hoping that combat gets a little more depth to it than just spamming left click until the thing in front of you dies. I'm wanting that to be the case. Let's see, I believe this is the lost and found. This is where that key was supposed to be. Oh. Okay, can't actually, I can't actually get up here. Thank you. Wait, is this the lost and found? It's not opening. Do I maybe select this? Because if I want to go lost and found, then I select that. And then now I can go there? Or no? Yeah, okay. Here we go. Well, there's one of the keys. Okay, good. Nice, we got it. Um, what is this? It's a schematic. We got more gent parts. Oh! Upgrade? Okay, so now... Wait, gent pipe can be temporarily charged for heavy impact. Okay. But I need more parts for this. I need like 12 of these tools. Okay. So I can't make the upgrade yet. That's fine. I, I didn't want to make the upgrade anyway. To be honest. I didn't care. I didn't care. I didn't want to make the upgrade anyway. Oh no, I messed it up. Oh, uh, it's like missing a blink as nurse in Dead by Daylight. Now I gotta wait. Ugh. How embarrassing. Give me back there. Okay. So, uh... What am I doing? I messed it up again. I got recharge. The insta kill ink demon. Why does the ink demon have human teeth? I just noticed that. He doesn't have fangs or anything, he has human teeth. 
Big old chompers. Hi. How did you... Bro, how did you survive? How are you still around? Right. Wilson sounds so over the top evil at all times. How could anyone take comfort in his voice? Let's listen to After Hours by Hank Scott. I've been putting it off, but here we go. I hate how when you click, I hate how when you click on it, when you click on the audio log in the menu, it scrolls up. So then you have to scroll back down to press play. I don't know why it's like that. Joey? Happened to notice last week just how long it takes for us employees to get home every night. When you add in the traffic and the waiting for the elevators, you practically only have a few hours before you have to wake up and come back. So Joey had them build our distress for us. Now we never have to leave work again, Joey says. Well, I'll admit, it's become quite the hangout spot down here. Almost like it's a uh, own little district. But there's definitely some unsavory stuff going on too. Smoking, gambling, <gasps> loud parties, you name it. At all hours of the night sometimes. For a place that's all about getting some shut eye, <laughs> there sure is a lot of noise around here. Mmm. Unsavory stuff like smoking, you say. Now, I'm no history buff, but was smoking really considered unsavory in this time period? I don't think that they really identified any health hazards with smoking until quite some time later. Maybe some of you more well-versed can let me know if I'm wrong with that. All right, let's check out the sauna, I guess. It's right here. By our sweat, we cannot be cleaned. Okay. We don't, who, who is writing this? We don't live forever. When we're killed or finally pulled apart, our diseased souls return to the ink to be reborn. An unending cycle of torment. But sometimes, something even worse can happen. A soul can slip from the ink completely. It gets caught between worlds, unable to die or return. They wail in the night, drifting in shadow. The phantoms of the machine. The ghosts. Ooh. Wow. Are you serious? I'm about to die. If I don't get some uh, food ASAP. All right, well, let's see. Anything? Now, I'm aware that I'm taking a lot of damage and not upgrading my health and not avoiding combat. But I just find it really... What, what do those books do? But frankly, I just find it really uninteresting to, to stealth from these enemies. So that's why I keep fighting them. Oh my god. I'll keep in mind. That's what we gotta do. Okay, now I've got... I've got the key, right? Now what is... What does the key go to again? We had like a, a memo or something. Oh, when you click the memos, it scrolls up to why? I put the crane keys, the crane, the crane. What crane, bro? What are you even talking about? Oh, here we go. What? For crying out loud. Anyway, I have 
the crane keys, don't I? So then... Did not let me because I was in combat? That's exactly why. Wow. The guy was attacking me, so I was in combat. Okay. This, that, this sucks. I, I, what? What? I get attacked as soon as I come out? Come on. I respawn and I get bonged over the head by the butcher gang. I guess I don't have to hitch a ride. Okay. Can I... Wait, can I... Hmm. Okay, I did it. So this is what you do. You go through the center. It would have been cooler to hitch a ride, but yeah, whatever. Um, so, okay, exit or here. Let's check out here first. Engine oil? Okay. Picked up a memory. Oh, yeah, like the baseball. Right, and that's all that's over here. Hmm. Okay, now hang on. Hang on, the cool down. No, 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 no. Uh, 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 you didn't say the magic word. Uh, uh, uh. Okay, now you can go. All right, so now we can go. Oh, another audio log. I haven't had much sleep the past few nights. I've been feeling something pulling at my mind. My thoughts fall to the Joey Drew exhibit we opened last week. Outside one or two of the artists. I don't think I've ever seen a single soul go inside. Ah, it's a shame how so many of us refuse to learn from the past. The past can give us our greatest lessons. But still, ever since we moved in Joey's old things, there's been a strange feeling around Archgate. Like the ghosts of long ago are wandering about. Calling out to me. Yeah, Nathan, they're calling out to you. They're obsessed with you. Everyone's obsessed with you. All the ghosts from years past, they're all, they are, they're all interested in you! Okay, I can make the upgrade, except I don't think I really can yet. Oh. Chapter 3, The Eternal Machine. We are unceremoniously transitioned into Chapter 3. Okay. Here, so, I'm going to give uh, a couple thoughts at the end of each chapter. So, thoughts at the end of Chapter 2. Um, so, first, my, my thoughts at the end of Chapter 1 were actually not too bad. Kind of surprisingly good. Very much more like a video game, an actual video game than Bending the Ink Machine was. Uh, my thoughts at the end of chapter two are, oh, is this what the rest of it's gonna be like? So if there are five chapters, like I think there are, and I, I can double check and see if that's how many there are, that's how many were in Bending the Ink Machine. Um, that would mean that we're over halfway through the game right now. And... <sighs> I will wait and see, but I am, right now, I am afraid that this is about as deep as it's going to get. We're going to have a couple more chapters of kind of the same thing over and over again that we've experienced this last chapter. And it's not really going to be much of an improved experience from here on out. But I'm going to just wait and we'll see if that actually happens. Okay, so... um. I'll admit, I'm feeling a little crabby right now, so I'm gonna go get some shut-eye, and I'll be back in a flash with a new bright, shiny attitude to match. 
Hopefully. That's the idea anyway. Hey, everybody. We're back with more Bendy and the Dark Revival. We're starting chapter three. Just in case you were uh, curious and lost track of where we were, you would be forgiven um, for not understanding. Okay, so, right, so I'm out of charge. So then if I want to recharge it, okay, so I have a question. Why are there five charges, like little bars here, when you can only use the thing one time? I don't know, I... See, look, when I pick it up, it's got five, it's got like five charge bars. It's got six, actually. But then it's one use and it's drained. It's just a little weird. All right. The fuck was that? Why am I picking up those books? Are those crafting materials? No. Are they collectibles? The books? The Joey Drew books? Cause, I mean, before we walk in here, I just need to get this off my chest. If they're collectibles, why, it, it, would, it would be much better for it to pop up and be like, oh, uh, the two out of 17 books acquired. Not that I'm gonna try to, to hit all of them or anything, but. This is Wilson. Anyone Hi, Wilson. Anybody caught in the restricted area will be taken to the pit, huh? Wonder what that's all about. We're in out like rats, scurrying all over the place. People shoving and pushing. The way this elevator system is set up, you'd think we only had 10 employees walking here. At any time of the day, this hall is full of people waiting to go up. Right around quitting time, we're gonna have to grab a magazine wait our toying. <laughs> Sorry. It just goes to show that Joey Drew Studios really did grow too much, too fast. But I hear there's more than one way to escape the rat's maze. I'm gonna do some asking around. Hudson Doyle. Uh, You know what? It's a good sign if you can crack yourself up. It doesn't mean you're full of yourself. Although it, you know, it might be. An indicator. Uh, <laughs> doesn't mean it's, it's not causation, though. Correlation is not causation. But uh, it's, it's good for your overall quality of life, if you can make yourself laugh. Yeah? Look at all that. Yum, yum, yum. Should I leave it open and I can come back and get it later? Just a pencil in a dream. Oh, shut up. All right. How's it going? Wilson knows your purpose. Is that so? Okay, we gotta move this. That's how we move on to the next thing. Um, I'm just gonna look in here real quick, and there's nothing. Great. Oh, we can charge this up. Let's do it. Might as well. Let me in there. There looks like some lockers that'll have some loot. Great. And maybe I can upgrade my, was it gent, gent pipe? Is that what it's called? Can I please have that? It's a gent tool kit. That's what I need more of anyway, so. Great, uh, use card, sure. All right, I got some slugs so we can get more food later. And uh, yeah, we're all good to go. I like how when the chain's on the other side, it doesn't break. You have to break the lock on the side that has it. You can't like rotate the chain or anything. All right, let's go. There's a Boris plushie here. Oh, we gotta pull it. I have a feeling that if I tried to blink to the other side, that it wouldn't work. We'll go down there in just one second, but first I'm gonna pop this open. Pop this puppy open. 
Now I'm a this puppy kind of guy. Oh. That's what was making all that noise. I can't wait until we don't do this anymore, but it's, it's going to be quite some time, I think, until we don't have to deal with the ink demon. I am wondering, you know that cute little bendy that I saw earlier that seemed like... Let's see if we can leave that for later. That seemed like, um... Oh, you're gonna pop up. Don't even act like you aren't. Seemed like he was like cute and innocent and then we scared him off. I wonder if it's the same one as the ink demon. Like, you would think it would be, right? We haven't seen the innocent one in the ink demon form in the same room, have we? I know you're gonna get up. I'm just waiting. I'll bop you over the head as soon as you do. We're letterboxed. Hello? Dude, every villain in this game is a is a death metal vocalist. Intruder alert! Manual lift ejection activated. <laughs> it's like drink some water, please. That that. The subtitle said it was Keeper that said that, even though it sounds like Wilson. Oh, eggs. Yo, what? Okay, there we go. Oh, God. Oh my god. Right. What the hell, man? Okay. So let's just... Let's just hold back on this, I guess. What is this? Oh. Oh, here we go. What am I doing? Okay, I got it. I keep dying, dude. Okay. Here we go. Oh my god. Holy shit. Wow. This thing's got human teeth too. Okay. All right. The, okay. I'm sorry, I'm gonna have to turn, it's so loud in my earphones. It makes it hard to think. Um, this, is, the combat here is not great. It kinda, it kinda showcases the weaknesses of this style. Okay. My anything else? I'm trying to. I'm trying to. Do I not hit him anymore? 
I'm, uh, I'm confused. Wait, what's this? What's this? Oh, recharge. Okay. Oh, I see. Fully charged gen pipe required. Well, it is charged. All right, I decided to reload the save because I think I was stuck. I couldn't figure out what to do. All right, so let's do this again. There we go. So you just do that, and then this guy gets summoned, right? Very good. All right. He, he hit him four times, and then he goes on, on top, and he starts spitting these things out. Right, and then you, you kill these things. One, two, three, four. Okay, see, he didn't do this last time. Interesting. Okay, I restored my health, which I didn't realize was possible before. God, die. Okay. Now they come back down. He hit me that time. Now he's dead. So he was bugged before. <laughs> um, okay. Well, Audrey's reacting really hard to this, by the way. To call this boss fight uninspired would be accurate, I think. It's really the combat in this game is not impressing me. Anyway, let's move on. Fear shows our true nature. Thank you, wise graffiti artist. What's up? Alice? Are, are you there? Okay, Audrey, don't get taken over by the ink or whatever. Okay, well, we'll take some of these. Thank you. I wish you could store some of these for later instead of just eating them in the environment, but there's not really like a usable inventory or anything. Oh, hey. Right. And Audrey says nothing. Hey, wait, nothing like that. Okay. Emergency shaft. <laughs> shaft. Yeah, let me get this. So wait, I've got a question. Oh. There we go. Um, do these things release spiders or no? All right. Interesting that they're introducing these egg things. Okay, we got a tool kit. Thank you. It's the emergency shaft, y'all. Let's go. I believe there's something special in all of us. What? Who are you? Don't you know me? Take a good look. It's Joey Drew. Aren't you? Joey Drew? In the flesh. Well, so to speak. Come on up. Let's take a little walk. In There's the ink. I want to show you. He's Joey Drew in the ink. More like it, okay? Wow. 
Um, okay, so how do I come up right? How do, how do ladders work? Okay, hang on a second, Joey. I gotta check for loot, you understand? Hi. There you go. Follow me. But mind your step. This old place is full of surprises. I should know. I've worked here a long time. Mr. Drew? Joey, please. Joey, what is this place? The studio? These monsters? Am I dreaming? It's a psycho, Audrey. An ink-stained nightmare, forever stuck on repeat. With right. just a pencil on a dream, and with a little help from the Jet Corporation, it came into being. From what I gather, it exists in parallel with the outside world, but completely removed from the march of time. And like a record played over and over again, it's begun to crumble, wear down. This studio is a monument to choosing the wrong road. Now, whether it was built for revenge or regret, I don't know. That's my riddle to solve. Well, Wilson built this world, right? It's pretty clear, considering all the posters that are like, Wilson is the best and all that stuff. Um, this kind of reminds me of like Back to the Future 2, where like Marty goes to the future and Biff controls everything. It's kind of like that. Um, okay, I'm curious as to how Joey Drew exists. So he's saying it's a cycle, just like in the first game, Benny the Ink Machine, right? Um, okay, I guess we'll just talk to him again. Hmm. The truth is, Audrey, someone out there is messing with what's in here. Bad things have begun to emerge from the puddles. Wicked creatures that never came from my pen. The worst ones call themselves keepers. Dangerous, deadly folks. All oh, right, the death metal the vocalists. Workshop just beyond the sewers, trying to bring what they call order to this world, freezing the cycle in place, changing the script. Whatever answers you're looking for, you'll find them there. Okay, hang on. I got a note to read, but so this is what your little hideout. You have a sink. <gasps> hey, you got some chips, some tasty eats. All right. Every great story begins in mystery. Although things may be dark at the start, the truth will illuminate your way. Don't be afraid of who you are. Fear only what you may become and banish it away. Your best pal. So is my best pal Joey? Why was he? Why is he writing with different ink now? Because I, I can't. Oh, you got so many batteries, Joey. Thanks. 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 Um, right. Oh, and I got a gent card for free. I don't know why I'm excited about that. Okay, um, yeah, I'm a little confused about this, but sure. Oh, there we go. <sighs> Look, above all, never forget. You're here for a reason, Audrey. There's always a reason, even when you can't understand it. You made this world. Why can't no, he you didn't. fix it? No, he because didn't. I'm not the man. I'm just the memory. Well, okay. Okay, so obviously he's not actual Joey Drew. Thank you for the gravestone for all the six-year-olds that need it spelled out for them. Yeah, so he's not actually Joey Drew. He's He's the dream of Joey. He's the ink... The ink manifestation of Joey. I get it. Okay. Then uh, is Alice also a memory? Well, and then. Okay. So, the, I mean, okay, I guess this is Joey's world, but it's been corrupted by Wilson somehow, right? That's what he was saying. Some of the monsters are, are ones that came not from my pen. Don't ever lose hope. When in doubt, the answer you seek is usually nearby. We all have dreams, ghosts in our past, but those ghosts can give us the path forward. Your best pal. And for some reason, I'm not writing in that creepy evil ink anymore. I'm 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 trying to understand the story. I really want to give it a, a, a good shot this time to understand the lore. Because that's the main it seems to be the main attraction for Bendy fans beyond the art style is the story, so I want to see if I can 
glean anything from it, you know? Ooh, upgrade. Can I upgrade? Oh, nope. I've got to get eight more toolkits. Jeez. Okay, fine. Mine's not charged, is it? No, it's not. Okay, I'll charge it real quick. We'll do some more reflection on the story in a bit. Uh, I guess I'll just interact with this thing now. Lord Amok rules. Wait, is that the thing I just killed? Hang on. The spider thing. That's the thing I just killed. Oh my god. He rules, huh? He, he had to hit him like 12 times with a pipe and he died. He rules. Rules what? Unsafe area. Stay together. But together is crossed out. And now it sits. Dead. Watch out. Oh, wait. This is where... Wait, is this where I encountered Joey? One... one issue I'm encountering so far with the game is that a lot of the environments look exactly the same and it's difficult to tell where I've been and where I need to go having a tough time with that are you serious uh huh we can get a super sweet audio log in here. You got a phone. Here. <laughs> but if we want to read it, we got to do it here. You got to follow your inspirations when you're a musician. Stick to what you know works. But when they built the new studio buildings, they all but filled in my office down in the old sewers. Turns out I've gotten so accustomed to working in those disgusting conditions that now if my office doesn't stink, the lyrics I write do. So when Jen started digging their massive utility shaft between their place and ours, I knew it'd be just the right spot for me to move in. Now I've got a song in my heart and a creative stench on my uh, nose. Oh wow, uh, fucking fascinating, Jack. Thank you so much. Uh, all right, pull this, I guess. I don't know what that opens, but I guess I'll find out soon. Yep. Dude, he's dead. I killed him. All this graffiti everywhere is not <laughs> is not working. <laughs> he's dead. Ooh, another upgrade here. You know what I'm going to do this time, though? I've been taking uh, stamina. I'm going to take health with this one, I think. Because holy hell, is it annoying having to heal. Okay, so we'll take health on this one. Right. And there's nothing in there. Great. So it was just the upgrade, uh, which is fine. All right. Oh, okay. Here we go. This is where I go. Bro. Okay. Sure. Thanks. Okay, security override, right? So we gotta do this again. Okay. I don't know what you're doing, but go for it, you know? Um, oh. Okay, this is from Muncie Dunn. Hey, Muncie! I feel like I do that voice like way too much for these characters. They designed this big tunnel to link their new gent building to Joey Drew Studios. They want to keep labor and parts flowing between them. I don't think they fully knew what they was actually creating here. <laughs> uh, I need to stop going back to that. When workers are heading through the shaft, you gotta drain the center duct into the overflow. When they're gone, you flood it again. Any schmuck can do it, even if they're not an engineer. 
But the main thing is, you gotta make sure all the duct hatches are open. Once they're open, the overflow can go drain back and forth between the two ducts. Simple stuff, but a bit overcomplicated when you're working by yourself. Muncie! <laughs> <gasps> oh, it's hard work, ain't it? All right, so, uh... I'm sorry, what? There's swimming? What is going on? He... What the fuck? Overflow filled. Okay, so Muncie actually told me what to do here. I think. Um... But I'm just gonna try to play it by ear for now. For the machine! Oh my god, you guys! Holy! You got a mohawk? God, that was terrible. Um. Yeah, not great combat, for sure. Okay. So I think we need to add, we want to add ink here so we can go up there and press that button, I think, for the emergency shaft. Where did you guys come from? You came from over here? I was over here before and there was nobody there. So yeah, nice try. Okay, so the overflow is filled. So now I've been trying to get up there and it's like not working. So I don't really know what to do here. Oh, I try. I swear I tried pressing the button earlier. Okay, so now I can go down here, right? Okay, thank God. All right. Why? Hello? Oh, it says make sure all the duct hatches are open. Once they're open, the overflow can go drain back and forth between the two ducts. So, so I go back and I, so now that I've opened all the ducts, now I can have it flood back in. Okay. I'm guessing that over here, it's... Oh, it is! Ah! Ah, okay. Alright, so... So then... Right. And then now I can press this. Got it. Not really sure what I did, but okay. Okay, so now, now I gotta drain it again. It's one of these things. Oh my god, I'm about to lose it. I'm about to die. I mean... All right. Okay, so now that I'm here, now we do it again. Yeah. And then I drain it for both. And then when I come back here... Oh my god. What? Something about shadows moving? I don't care. Let's go in here. Or the shadows move. Wait, it, well, isn't this... I thought this was your best pal. Was it not? That's Joey... What? Oh, I got him mixed up then. All right. All my comments earlier were inaccurate then. So the, the creepy writing isn't Wilson and it's not Joey Drew, I don't think. Because haven't we gotten notes from Wilson? I don't know who this is. Within our isolated walls, Lord Amok reigns. The drips and drops of the leaking world above cannot stop his rule. Those who oppose Amok's hand have their bodies crushed and fed into the narrow pipes. Am I, am I going crazy? I thought we killed Lord Amok. Or is that not? Bigger spider, maybe. Bigger spider. Okay. That lead below into forgotten sewers under our feet. Those tunnels are even deeper, even darker than this one. There is only suffering down there. 
But should anyone defeat Lord Amok, cast him down, our small kingdom will belong to the Conqueror. This is the secret of Amok's immortality. Pass on the throne. Pass on the name. Oh, okay. Well, so I might have defeated him then. I don't know. I guess we'll find out. I'm sure Lord Amok will be a riveting boss battle. Okay, well, we gotta charge it again. Great. <sighs> so how are you guys doing? We're over halfway done with the playthrough, and you may be able to tell from my little comments that I've been making that I've been getting more cynical as it goes on. I'm sorry, okay? I'm trying my best. Oh, thank God I didn't have to go up the ladder. Is that not... Oh, here we go. I'm just disappointed with... Oh my gosh. I'm disappointed with... Um, how interesting the game seemed at first because I was like legitimately like oh this is kind of cool and I started thinking about all the things that could happen with it wait is this Lord of Mock? oh my god and then it just kind of seems like we've already hit the ceiling of the game and it's just going to be more of this for five chapters so that's the part where my frustration is anyway here we go behold the stranger is upon us Kill her. Kill her now. Okay. Oh, okay. I was trying to get back. What's going on here? I was trying to get back to get some food. But thankfully you can just do this. Okay, I guess I'm... I'm Lord Amok now. You guys are so weird. Anyway, um, yeah, this is what I wanted to do. I wanted to come back here and see if I could get some food in the middle of the fight. That's what I was trying to do when I turned around and it didn't work out. Surprise, surprise. All right, uh, great. Now I'm Lord Amok. Oh, you can't beat them up even though they're saluting you. It pays to be Lord Amok. Oh my gosh. Wow, it pays to be evil. <laughs> great. Uh, okay, you guys hold down the fort for me while I leave and go do like a million other things. That's a ridiculous amount of loot. I mean, isn't this all mandatory? This isn't like an optional thing. This is... This is part of the linear progression of the story and it gave me like a million resources. Okay, yeah. Thanks. Lord Amok rules. Okay. So many levers here. Well, I came here, I came, I conquered, and now it's time to move on to the next bit, I guess. I guess I could have just teleported down here. That would have been better. Accept my fate before the end. What's my fate? A city built on broken dreams. How big is this place? 
Oh, come it's on. you. Where did you come from? Look. I think he was just talking to I'm you. I'm sorry about earlier. I, I didn't mean to hurt you. You got a little Santa hat on. And I really don't think you want to hurt me either, right? Ah. Good. Let's be friends then, okay? What do you say? You and me? Awesome. Maybe you can help me. I'm looking for the old gent building. What's wrong? Is it a bad place? It's okay. I won't let anything happen to you. We'll go one step at a time. Just you and me. Let's see what we can find. I like how Audrey... Oh, check it out. Chapter 4, Factory of Horrors. Um, I like how Audrey spent approximately like one scene being like, what is this place? And now she's like, just like, yeah, this is just life now. I mean, you can't have her traipsing throughout the entire game, biting her nails and gasping and being really annoying, making a ton of really irritating sounds or anything. I get it, but it just kind of feels like maybe... Oh, wait, I'm already fully charged. Hi, Bendy. I'm pretty sure you're the ink demon, too. But we'll just suspend disbelief for now. How come this doesn't open? Do you know anything about this? Oh, he doesn't follow you. He's trying. He's trying, God love him, but he's not succeeding. Interesting. I think that, that little glimpse out the window there was supposed to be kind of like a rapture moment by the way this typeface right here is called copper plate in case you're wondering the street signs here it's commonly used for street signage and and things like that um and some sort of like urban uh signage in general not just street signs uh but yeah so in case you ever wanted to know yeah i mean this is so i always thought that bendy and the ink machine was bioshock inspired and I think it was pretty obvious that it was, but I feel like they've taken it up a notch with this one. But, well, I'll, I'll leave my full thoughts on the similarities to Bioshock for the end. But I'll just say the reason why Bioshock is such a revered game isn't just because of its look and feel, which so far are really the only similarities that this game and Bioshock have. The aesthetic. Perhaps some themes too, we'll see. Like, I mean, if they, if they want to like copy the plot, they can copy the plot a little bit here actually. Well, yeah, because this is a this is a a utopia of Wilson's design, right? Much like Andrew Ryan's world in Bioshock. You know, he was kind of the king of the castle there. Nothing happened without Andrew Ryan's say so. So maybe we're <laughs> maybe it's gonna turn out that we're Wilson's daughter. <laughs> oh, dream! And that's why he's so obsessed with our name because he named us. Choice Meatly Products. Meatly is the uh, original game developer and voice of uh, Henry in the like ink machine as well. Somewhere around here. Any ideas, Bendy? Bendy's idea is to look inside things. Okay. Yeah. Um. Okay. Well, I have been like looking. Oh. I'm not in here. This is kind of charming, having Bendy point at things. There's nothing in here. Sorry, Bendy. This is kind of nice, actually. Nothing in here. Let's keep looking. I mean, surprise, the game feels a bit stronger and more satisfying when its primary mascot is on screen. Nothing in here. Let's keep looking. The old farmer's market. Okay. There's nothing in here. Sorry, Bendy. Bendy, you're so bad at this. Show me something else where there's nothing inside it. Come on. What's another empty container, Bendy? Don't. Oh my God. It's the, it's gonna be in here. Nope. Not in here. I was wrong. You see that, Bendy? I was wrong. 
Oh, another empty trash can. Let's take a look. Oh, well, it's actually a note. The future has arrived. I just didn't know it would get here so soon. Some of the stuff that's coming out of Jet doesn't really follow any of the rules of physics that I know. Hard to believe they started as a brickling company once upon a time. Nowadays, we have all the modern conveniences and, worse yet, the headaches. Take that ID card machine they've got at the door. You don't bring your ID, you ain't getting to work. So I started putting my ID card on the nightstand in my room at the Downside Hotel. It's not the safest place, but at least I know where it is. Eugene Lloyd. Looks like we found a clue. Ah! <laughs> Betty doesn't give a shit. <laughs> like, whatever. All right. So we got groceries. Um, yeah, pharmacy. So. I can't. Oh. That's cute. Look at him sitting there. Imagine if Bendy followed you throughout the entire game. Oh, yeah? I'll just start my own place. Ow. How are you going to do that when you're about to die? Yeah, how are you going to do that when you're dead? Didn't think so. The beef is people. It's a reference to Soylent Green. Sorry to spoil a movie that came out a thousand years ago, but you know, you weren't going to watch it anyway. Don't lie, and it was, it was on my, my to-do list. Hey, I was going to watch that. I made sure the nursing home had it on DVD. Okay, the downside hotel. Nice, that's where it is. I don't know, why am I eating this stuff? Oh wait, I am hurt, so that, that's why. <laughs> it makes sense. Look at you. It's gonna be so sad when we have to kill you because you're secretly the ink demon, but you know, we're just gonna pretend like we don't know that for now. I'm gonna feel so stupid if there's actually two. Why would there be two though? Cause in the in the first game. It's kinda creepy in here. Ow, it's kinda creepy in here. Have you been out there? Ow da da da. Look at the Oh, okay. Nice. Y'all want a donut? Okay, so we're looking on the nightstand for the guy's thing. Of course, too bad Bendy can't blink up here, am I right? <laughs> okay. Is it... Three, two, oh wait, so there's three, four, five, six. No? Okay. Um... Do these, do these not open? Oh, there's another floor. And the entire floor is a room in this case. Great, all right. Well, geez, you haven't gotten far. Don't do that. Wait, how, how did you get in here? He's ink, oh, dude. Oh, I have my ways. He So tell me, how goes the journey? He Slow, faced into the wall earlier. But I'll get through. Ah, I see you have your father's never quit go getter spirit. Oh, now you knew my father. Well, news flash, I didn't even know my father. Or my mother. Or anyone else in my family. Don't do it. I see then. You've chosen to forget the past. I can understand that. <sighs> what are you talking about? Look, don't do it. I don't think you're ready for this. Don't do hang it. On to your lunch money. There's something I want to show you. Am I Joey Drew's daughter? Wait. What are you doing? Am I the little girl at the end of Bending the Ink Machine that's like, one more, Uncle Joey? Well, that would be his niece. All right, Joey. All right, Joey. I'm here. I'm here. Let's see if we can find what you wanted me to see. To see. Okay, so this is. Uh, so this is Henry at the beginning of Bending the Ink Machine. Over here. Come have a seat. This won't take long. My Henry's daughter. Whose daughter am I? Take a seat. Okay. Sure. I guess. Where are we? 
very old place, full of memories. But never mind all that. There's a little story you need to hear. You ready? Here we go. Once upon a time, Audrey, there was a bitter old man who had lost just about everything. Joey. Right. The real Joey Drew. He blamed everyone but himself for his mistakes, but mostly he blamed his old business partner for abandoning their work years and years ago. A man by the name of Henry Stein, great artist and a good friend. Who he played in as his in anger, the last game. Joey used an evil machine to create another world. A world made of paper and ink, where he'd right. torment his own version of Henry forevermore. But one day, a miracle happened. An angel came into Joe's life. A young Alice woman angel. by the name of Allison Pendle. She didn't visit often. But when she did, she saw something good in Joey no one else could, including himself. Through their friendship, he began to see the world with better eyes. So one day, in Joey's cartoon cycle of hatred, he gave Henry an angel of his own to guide him when things were most dark, to always provide hope. It was then Joey decided to make something new, something he had always wanted but he could never have, a family, but not a cartoon one, something real. And after many, many tries, he created something that made him happier than he ever could have imagined. A wonderful, loving daughter. Bright, and kind, almost human. He created you, Audrey. What? Are you crazy? Listen, I know it's a lot to believe. Who do you think you are? I wasn't born from some machine. I'm flesh and, and blood. I'm not some kind of ink monster. Just because we're born of darkness doesn't mean we belong to it. We're always free to choose, to believe what we want to believe. Take me back. A right man chooses now. a slave I'm not obeys. Not any more of your lies. Remember who you are, Audrey. Leave me alone. <sighs> It can't be. Well, it lacks the impact of the Bioshock reveal, but by the way, do yourself a favor. Play Bioshock, okay? Just the first one. You don't have to play the second one. You don't have to play the third one. Although I do I do like Bioshock Infinite. Um, but yeah, you don't have to play the sequels. Just the original. Just the original. You can play that one. Um, it's not bad. In fact, it's just, uh, you know, just one of the best games of all time. <laughs> Some people disagree. You may not like it. it you know, it is it is however many years old now. How, how old is it? How old is Bioshock? Anyway. Bendy. Oh, no. Is he the ink demon now? It's funny. I thought maybe you could just do it on like the, the ones that were hunched over, like they were little sisters, but I guess you can do it to any of them. Yeah. Hi. Thanks. Why are you beating me with a piece of bread? It's so weird. All right, here we go. We scan ID. Is that? I thought I picked it up. Did I not pick it up? I thought I picked it up. Oh, I gotta go back. You didn't pick this up? I thought you picked it up. Uh, okay. Now you picked it up. That's the whole reason I left is because I thought you already picked it up. All right, well. Here we go. The treason of the cycle breakers. Oh, 
Sorry, I, I couldn't really hear what he was saying because I was too busy getting ambushed by these fuckos. All right, let's go ahead and use the ID card. I don't know where Bendy is. I guess Audrey, Audrey didn't even come out like, Bendy, where'd he go? There's, there's a lot of missing connecting lines like this. We are the keepers. Oh, wow, look at this edgy shit. <laughs> Ooh, I'm so scared. There he is. Okay, so, right, she has no reaction to it, except just like a little bit of gasping. There's not that much voice acting in the game. Surely they could have had her have a, have a reaction to a, to a big moment in the game for a lot of people, I'm sure. All right. Paid to die. All right, let's listen to it. I don't like to ask questions. I believe everyone's got their own business. You hear something, you leave it alone. But when you spent as much time in and out of a jug as I have, you learn to keep your mouth shut about things, you know? So when I saw this here ad in the newspaper that reads, Gent Corporation looking for research subjects pays 350 a week, I figured it'd be good for me. Easy money, right? With my record, you can't afford to be picky. But it turns out something really wrong is going on in this place. I mean, I've seen dead people before, but here, Death is like a way of life, a clockwork march. They wheel out the bodies and they disappear down the chute. Forgotten men from the street, paid to die. 350 a week. Yeah. Uh, uh, yeah, exhaustive insight, thank you so much. Condemned, effective, Halloween 1952. <gasps> Say it isn't so. Please have your identification ready. Unsafe area. Well, I mean, I do have it. Do I have, oh, come on. No food. You gotta get another code. Okay. Sure. I'll look around for it. Oh. Do I have enough now to upgrade? I'm short one toolkit for the high impact mod. I just need one more and I can get the upgrade. Okay, remember where this is. Cause we'll wanna maybe come back here. Look up. I'm sorry, does that say door code 523? <laughs> tell no one. Okay, so you're just gonna tell me the code. It's 523, wow. Um. Okay. I wasn't expecting that. I would be so mad if I just didn't notice that. Wow, okay. We've done it. I didn't even have to have my identification. Still waiting My to find name out. Is Audrey. I'm not here to cause you any trouble. No. That's not true. I just want to go home. Please. Can you help me? Why is it a little thing? Why does it take you so long to say things? Control, 
So did Wilson make you? Wilson. Can you take me to him? He wanted me to find him. Dangerous. Much too dangerous. This subject is without limits. Please let me see him. Crisis averted. So I know I've got a bad attitude. I know, I know, okay? It's just. Oh, is that one of them? Just a pencil and a dream in here. Uh, are you me and Joey Drew? I just thought I would write this on the side of the vent. Um, okay. Yeah, you know, frankly, the voice acting in this game is well done, just on average. It's well done. However, there's there's currently three different characters that all sound like death metal vocalists. Wilson, the Ink Demon, and the Keepers. They all, they all sound like over the top evil. And it kind of, when something sounds so cartoonishly evil like they do, it kind of removes me a little bit uh, from the situation and kind of lowers the intimidation factor by quite a lot. But I also realize that I am not the target audience. So, you know, don't worry, that's not lost on me. I'm not sitting here like, why didn't they make the game for me, a 34-year-old man? I didn't even know you were here. You were here? Okay, so they instant kill you. That's a keeper right there. All right. So, execute on sight, they say. So I'm guessing they can see you but not hear you, maybe? I'm guessing that that's what that's all about. Okay. So, like, I can use the vent to go back and forth. Right? And I'm guessing I don't want to, like, sprint either. Um, although we could run... We could run an experiment. Yeah, I think they just work on sight. It's just sight alone. Alright, we'll just uh, go under here then away from the keeper and there we go it's a keeper log oh my god are we gonna have to hear is it a normal voice Okay, I can't. I'm sorry, I can't do it. I'm, I'm, I can't do it. It's, it's too, it's too irritating. I'm, I, I apologize. Normally, I would just suffer through it, but it's just so over the top. Okay, what did that open for me? Oh, right there. I wonder if I could just teleport. I probably could. Let's have some fun. Oh. Well, he's too close now. There you go. Look at that cog in the back. Okay, yeah. They work completely off of sight, it looks like. No! 
One of them said search. It was this one. Thank you. And it has nothing in it. Great. All right. Another keeper in here or Dishy's Cantina? Oh, yep. There's one right there. Okay. So I guess this is kind of a stealth heavy area of the game. I'm okay with that, I guess. I'm frankly, it's not like beating the lost ones with the pipe was um, award winning gameplay. So I'm happy to give it up for, for stealth. Don't come in here. They should be listening to death metal, I think. They should be listening to some, like some cannibal corpse or something. Um, okay, safe, unsafe area. Can't open that. I guess we just go in here. Cycle breakers. Oh, yeah. I remember Wilson saying something about that. I guess we'll find out what it's all about. That's no. where the ghosts live. Just beyond that door. The keeper's prison, the pit. No one ever comes out. At least, they're never quite the same. But I could open the door for you. I do know how. I really do. Ah, uh, thank you. That would... But, but first, maybe play a game? Oh, I love to play games. I like hide and seek best. Find me and I'll open the door for you. I promise. Look away while I hide, and no peeking. <laughs> Seek out Heidi. Now, real quick before we do this, was Heidi the one... Who was the one that made the fourth Butcher Gang person? Oh, Jane Todd was her name, so it's not, the, it's not Heidi. Um... So wait, is she hiding... Is she hiding out here? Kinda annoying. There's a ladder right here. Yep, okay, great. Also, I wasn't expecting to see that thing around. Okay, um, right. So, nothing here. Oh. I fell through the map. I fell through the map. I am gonna turn to the Joker. I... Wait, what? Wait, where am I? It respawned me on the other side where I wanted to go anyway. Oh, that works. Okay. Oh my God, hi. Is the game bugs now? Is the... I found you. Is the game bugged now? Is the game bugged? Please, no. Maybe. Okay. Yeah, I don't know. No? Okay, you can't flip that switch. I'm not sure why. The keepers have taken my friend, locked him away like some animal, just because he's big and strong. But they don't need to fear him, no! If they just make sure to feed him on time, Big Steve won't ever hurt a fly. <laughs> he loves the food from the Little Devil Lounge best. Ah yes, the favorite among workers, the Little Devil Lounge. If only someone would take the long road back through the sewers, climb up the elevator shaft, and seek out his favorite thumping delicacy. Then they would see how harmless he really is. The long road back through the sewers, climb the elevator shaft. Ah, uh, yeah, I ain't doing all that. Just wanna throw that out. Nope. Nope, I, I can't. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry, everyone, but I just can't. I apologize. I will be unable to listen to the keeper 
uh, audio logs. I'm gonna upgrade the ability cooldown because it's driving me crazy how infrequently I can use it. Is that a rope? How come I can't pick that? That's the first time I've ever seen something other than like loot in those. Okay, well. What? Now you I found her. You found me. Oh, this I is found so you exciting. earlier too. You were brilliant. Now, can you open that door for me? Oh, yes, the door. I think you'll find it's open now. Oh, How did you also, do that? Let me give you something. Something special. <laughs> Just a small reminder of our game together. Get your hands off of me. Was it like a hiding ability? Fast travel. What was behind is now ahead. Interact with linker pipes to fast travel between two specific locations. Dark places you've already been may hold new secrets. Oh. I won't be I will not be doing that, but oh are, are you done? I will not be doing that, but okay, so she was bugged, so can I interact with the um the switch now? You know there's a big brute in there oh it was the guy from the note oh we just need to give him his favorite snack was it is he gonna kill us otherwise you're gonna are you gonna kill me huh can i get past you buddy oh i see you're blocking me off okay cool well uh have fun inky guy i've been talking about hearthstone cards too much lately there's um you know how earlier I was like, uh, potato head was living in my mind, uh, rent free. There's so, so there's a hearthstone card that has like a similar interaction with my brain right now. There's, uh, like when you play it, it goes like, sorry, sorry we, we don't, don't have, have any ink. ink. <laughs> and it's like, it's like some, some writer character, some scribe or something. I can't remember. Oh, I can't make it up there. That's okay. I just, there's so many ink monsters around. I just, I have it in my head now. Sorry, we don't have any ink. Okay, so how did you open this, by the way, with your mind? Really? Deep six level badge. You know, Finding out that Audrey was made by the ink machine by Joey a long time ago. Now it makes sense with the hairstyle. That was like the first thing I saw. I was like, oh, it's the 70s? Then how come she looks like she's from the 20s or 30s? Now it makes sense. That was like the first thing I said. I was like, she's got some burial at sea Elizabeth vibes. This is it the projectionist? Oh, it's playing. Ah, that's a cool little Easter egg, I guess. That works. Yo. Oh. Um, excuse me, sir. Can you help me? Is that Henry? You must be really lost to be asking me for help. I'm just looking for answers about the Keepers, Wilson, the Cycle. Anything could help. What's your name? Audrey. What's yours? Honestly, I've almost forgotten. It's Henry Stein. My name is Henry. Have you been a prisoner long? When the Keepers think you're a threat to their plans, they lock you away. Forever. Still, it's given me time to think. Things like, if you haven't eaten in years, you might 
might not be human. Why would you be a threat to them? I'm what they call a cycle breaker. Once upon a time, I knew how to start the cycle over. And when that happens, everything begins again. Completely new. Obviously, Wilson and the Keepers don't want that to happen. How did you do it? Reset the cycle. Turns out the Ink Demon himself is the key. This world is his, but even he must obey its rules. For now, at least. If you can get him to look at something very specific, it will reset everything. What is it? It's just a reel of film, labeled with the words, The End. I can see it in my mind. Wait. Every day. They keep it upstairs, in the pit. I'll see if I can break in and steal it. Maybe, if I reset the cycle, we could make things better for everyone here. And what about you? I just want to go home. You're not Sorry. going home. Good luck, Audrey. You're, you're stuck Maybe here. You again. You know where to find me. Well, it's not like you're going to have new lines or anything. What was that? What did I just hear? Well, I know where to find them. What are you, what are you scribbling on there? Are you drawing? He's drawing something. So yeah, so uh, Henry is voiced by the Meatly, who's the creator of Bendy and the Ink Machine. Originally, I believe. Uh, recognize that voice anywhere. Another day, another dollar. Every time, every single time you say, another day, another dollar. Okay, all right, that had nothing in it. Love it. Oh. That's, uh, oh, what's his name? I forget what his name, uh, he's a character from the first game and when you uh, encounter him, he's like a cursed carnival ride that you have to boss fight against. <laughs> Birdie? His name Birdie? Okay, well this is just his... Do the, uh, the eyes follow? That's kind of cool. His eyes follow you. So he's still in there. Kind of weird. There's nothing else in here though. It's just him. Oh, well. Now you're alone for another thousand years, I guess. <laughs> You know, that has to be one of my least favorites in the game, next to the Ink Demon. So this is Sammy Lawrence. He was the cult muse uh, music guy, I almost said museum. Cult music guy. I guess we can't interact with him. So we got Birdie, we'll call him. Henry, Sammy. I assume we're gonna find Boris and all the other characters. So these are the cycle breakers, I see. Contraband, oh my goodness. Right, the thing where you can see things on the walls. The axe from the first game. This is all stuff that like, I would be, I would certainly think was really cool if I was into the first game, right? Did that not open anything? So we found the projectionist, right? There we go, get that off my screen. Ugh. How many of these do I have? Oh, like 256 is left. There we go. We found um, Sammy. Are you worth... Are you worthy to walk with angels? Interestingly, this would seem to indicate it's Alice Angel's cell, but she's not here. Which means that the person that we met earlier wasn't, that I thought was Allison, isn't Allison. Huh. That explains why she called herself Alice, because that was the first thing I wondered after we met her, was like, well, she should be calling herself Allison. I guess not. What, what's happening? Oh, it's a memory. Thanks for the fresh milk. 
Ew, I'm thirsty. Yum, yum, yum. I guess that's just like a collectible. There's always hope. Um, okay. I don't know where Boris was. Was Boris in there somewhere? Oh no, watch out. If only you could see, or, well, if only you could hear. My biggest jump scare. Keepers can be relentless to strangers, but there's nothing to fear as long as I'm with you. You're safe now. You did this to me. You brought me here. Turned me into this, this thing. This doesn't make sense. I've never done anything to you. Open your eyes and look around you. None of this makes sense. Drawn walls. Nightmarish creatures. An ancient studio that died out almost 30 years ago. It's all fiction. Utter nonsense. And yet, in here, it exists. It breathes. It flourishes. Are we inside the ink machine? Guided by Master's pin, the foundation for a new reality. We can bleed into our own. Just think of it. Anything we create in here, we can release out there. Wow, cool! Like a like a but blob first, of ink. This world must oh. be controlled, made safe. These things, these angels and demons, are they really life? Or are they just stains? Old mistakes ready to be cleansed away. Nice for villain monologue, bro. Greater things. What do you want from me? I need your help to save my father's life. What? Who, who's your father? This is our star. We'll talk more once we're safely inside. Are we inside the machine? Oh my god. Chapter 5. The Dark Revival. I assume this is the last chapter, but it might not be. I'm actually gonna save here because I need to go eat. I'm so hungry. But, um, you can probably tell what I think about this game so far. <laughs> I'm trying to hide it, but I'm not a good actor. I'm not a good actor. All right. Uh, I will see. <laughs> I'll see you guys in just a second. Save game unavailable. Oh, okay. Well, okay. Well, hang on. I've got to stand first. Stay close. This place isn't as safe as it once was. Okay, okay bye. <laughs> Signal towers are nearby. Abilities have been disabled. Oh. Oh, the signal towers, like the ones that, that disrupted Bendy. Hey, look, it's a keeper. What are you looking at? I wouldn't. Why would I take a picture of you? Got a face only a mother could love. Oh. The Dark. Bendy and the Dark Revival. <laughs> Sorry. Where am I going? The demon's evil continues to spread. This world has begun to shudder 
So many evil voices. What did you say? Nothing. It was nothing. Hmm. Almost there. Just a quick stop. Won't take but a moment. Oh, now I can save. Okay, I'm gonna save now and I'll, we'll get back to it later. Hey, I'm back. It's been a couple days actually since I last played. Um, I think Wilson just like dropped us off somewhere and uh, we'll just- The subject will stand in the designated location. We're back in this game, right. Okay, it just, it hadn't clicked until now, but it just did, right, here, okay. My God. Okay. Uh, fine. You know what? What? There's a gun right there. Look at the axe. Remain still for examination. Well, like here. Okay. The subject is cleared for entry. Boy, that took a while, didn't it? Okay. Let's uh, let's get away from this thing if we can. Uh, how did you do that? You were back there. How did you get ahead of me? Well, you skipped the line. The civilized world. How do you like my signal towers? They nullify the ink demon's powers so he cannot pass them. I wish I could say I invented them, but it seems our friends at the Gent Corporation had a demon problem of their own long ago. Nice, so you stole that too. Cause you're kinda you're kinda just a thief, aren't ya? Oh my god, look at this painting. Look at him. Who painted this? Who did you commission for this? What what budding artists are there in the ink machine world, pray tell? I guess the ones that you've got chained up. You got Henry down there. You probably made Henry do this, didn't you? You took credit for killing the ink demon, which Henry did, and then you made him paint. A glory moment from you? What is it? And now you got some Stepford wife? Get me out of here. And now, my dear, if you'll excuse me, oh God. I have a lot to prepare. We'll talk later. I promise. Besides, you must be very tired. A quick rest will do you good. Betty will show you to your room. She's my housekeeper, among other things. You... Never actually killed the ink demon, did you? Audrey, no, come on. He's too powerful to destroy. So we sealed him away, trapped him in a different form. One that was smaller, harmless. Bendy. It was a fitting prison, although he seems to have found a way to free himself. But enough talk. We'll deal with that. <sighs> Soon enough. There's some nice fresh blankets all laid out for you. You'll be dreaming in no time. Wait, Wilson? One more thing. If you needed my help, why didn't you just ask? <sighs> Would you have believed me? Come along. No. And no more dawdling. This way now. I, I still don't believe you, though. Man, Betty's kind of stacked. I guess she's a robot though, right? Is You're she a robot? Here at last. It's so exciting finally having you with Maybe us. Maybe not. Now, to give you some She just has a mask on. We're currently standing in the south wing. Wilson's laboratory is downstairs. And then What if I just tip this vase over? Time. That'd be kind of funny, wouldn't it? Okay, so there's there's a library. And then there's Well, I'm, I want to go this way. You aren't they're all locked. Let's just go. Let's just go linear way. Let's go. This way. Ink demon got in there a while ago, and ever since we've had to keep the north wing locked up tight. 
I'm afraid it's fallen into ruins by now. All those juicy, lovely books gone to waste. Juicy. Only keepers go there these days. And Bae, they'll do you tear eat your heart limb from limb if Wilson isn't with you. So, mind your distance and you'll be just fine. Do you eat books, Betty? Look at how she's look at how she's walking. It's Are not you very okay? Often I have guests to look after, especially one I can actually talk to. Oh my Almost god, she's everyone here either can't speak or they're completely mad. Uh-huh. So which one are you? Well, you can speak, so I guess that clears All it up. Right. Here we are. Best room in the house. Okay. You should see where I sleep. Ooh. <laughs> but this room, oh, just perfect. I saw to every detail. Bed is clean. The bathroom is on the left. Sorry about the stains. I did try my best to get them out. Okay, are you gonna stand in the doorway the entire time, or? Sorry about the stains. The mug and the maiden. So, wait, is this his book? It says Sir Wilson Moore on it. Wilson, did you write a book? Wilson's a budding author. For sleeping draft, pinch of salt, cocoa powder, chamomile, Soybeans, Gilson. Mix everything in a glass and then drink with exactly three sips of water. What is this for? What's this concoction for? Oh, do I sit here? Oh. Okay, no. I think I don't sit. Why would I sit here? Okay. There's a lot of places to sit. There's nothing really to do. Okay. I guess we'll go into the bathroom. No. You can't go into the bathroom. Actually, she says bathroom on the left, but you can't go in there. Sorry. Um, hi. Did you have any questions? Yeah, how do I get in the bathroom? Is it always night here? It's always dark, if that's what you mean. For as long as I can remember. Are you very old? No. As far as I understand it, I'm something quite new. Although, I didn't turn out the way I was supposed to. One in a long line of failed experiments. But Wilson will keep trying. And do you trust Wilson? <sighs> this is the realm of the ink demon. The shadow hangs over us all. I don't trust anyone. But Wilson takes care of me. Keeps me safe. He once said I remind him of something he called his... Mother? Tell me. Is that a good thing, where you two are from? I'm not sure. I don't think I ever had one. Well, no matter. <laughs> now, I, I was told to make sure you get some sleep once you got here. So get nice and comfy and <laughs> relax. I left something on the table that might just help you nod off. It's my own recipe. Works very fast. Just follow the instructions. Carefully. Yeah, Thanks, I don't know. Betty. What, what do you mean, carefully? Of course. What's gonna if happen you if need I don't? Anything else? I'll come straight away. I'm always up. So when Wilson's voice trailed off and he said that she was his housekeeper, among other things, that seemed to indicate a carnal relationship. But then she just said that he, he mauled her after his mother. So this is really strange. Maybe I misinterpreted it. Maybe that's what happened. Okay. Um, yeah. Why, why do I have to be careful with this exactly? Gilson. What's a Gilson? No idea. I don't know. Is it in the bathroom? Oh my gosh. Wow. What a utopia. Look at this shower curtain. Sit. Okay. Okay. It's not what I thought it would be. That's good. That's good. Okay, we'll just move on. <gasps> look at me! I still look weird and inky and evil. Even though I'm not, right? What's a Gilson? That's a great question. I don't know. Up. Oh. 
Here we go. Hey, we gotta listen to Wilson's edgy audio log. Here we go. The machine speaks to me, revealing its many possibilities. What I can accomplish using its power is beyond any measure. Life and death can become a thing of the past. Poverty and hunger, a distant memory. I can remake the world anew, but does the world deserve such a gift? For now, I have bigger matters at hand. A man in a black coat came asking at the front desk about the machine. Said he was from the Gent Corporation. Fortunately, the receptionist knew nothing, and he left quietly. Later, I found his name on the sign-in form. Mr. Alan Gray. Why does that sound familiar? Alan Gray? Was that a character from the first game, from the Ink Machine? Because I don't remember it. We gotta find out what a Gilson is, y'all. Oh, here we go. A Theory About Spaces by Alan Gray. This is a book by him. Uh, do we really want to read this? Let's imagine a long wire stretching between two points in known time. Oh, I'm already bored. We will call this length of time the euphonic base. From here, we can dispel all needs of societal normalcy and all typically understand junctions of the world we know as the present. All right. Bendy Devs, the 14-year-olds you're catering to. They, this is way over their heads. They don't care about this at all. Once the euphonic base is achieved, it creates a shared understanding that there must be space around the wire that is not the wire itself. This space, a Cromley vacuum, could be in itself a host to many wires, running in as many different directions as we can perceive. Using a vessel of flow, a flux break, we can escape from our wire to another wire. This allows us to not just reveal these alternate timescapes, but command them with a larger understanding of their existence. Further still, in theory, we can bring elements of one world into another, displacing matter into a new state regardless of the current host wire's rules. The reality and function of the elements becomes a new euphonic base. Okay, I know I just like shit talk the 14 year olds, but I, this is going over my head too. Give me a second. I'm going to reread it. Okay, I reread it, and um, I don't know if it's just that I don't care, but I don't get this it. This doesn't help at all. Thank you, Audrey. Okay, it went over your head, too. Um, no, I don't want to sit there. I don't want to sit there. What about cooking for every day? Now, this is a little bit more my speed. Chapter 9, Simple Snacks. If you're in a hurry like I always am, you don't have time to put together complex or large meals. Fortunately, we have some scrumptious and simple recipes that satisfy and take no time at all to prepare. People ask how you made these so fast, and you can just sit back and smile. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Saucy cheese blades recipe, take a loaf of leftover Italian bread, blah, 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 blah. Does it say what a Gilson is? Chocolate well, bacon that soup. that didn't tell me anything. Okay, well, I'm glad that we are wasting our time here. What about Fisherman Jebs? Is a Gilson a fish? Let's see. The Gilson fish. This is one strange little fish that is pretty hard to come by. The Gilson is not known to be easy to catch and will ignore most bait. To make matters worse, the Gilson can move very fast, making it a rare sight. In the end, I was able to snatch up, snatch me up this little guy with a very clever solution. Apparently, the Gilson is sensitive to sound vibrations and will go into shock upon hearing some sweet music. So crank up the tunes and this fish will be easy to grab. Crush up the Gilson into powder and stir into water for a powerful soothing drink. Macabre. So I'm looking for a fish. There's got to be one here somewhere. All right, 14-year-olds, let's go grind a fish into paste so we can go to sleep. By the way, uh, did you catch all that about the Cromley vacuum? Uh... Now that's a fish. Is that the Gilson? Let's try grabbing it. It's too fast. You tried one time, Audrey. Ah, uh, damn, it can't do it. All right, so I guess we'll play. Maybe if it was closer. So you want me to push? 
What do you want? Do you want me to push? Oh, okay. It's a good thing the piano has a little handle on the side. You're moving a grand piano right now. Grand pianos are ridiculously heavy. Have you ever tried to move a grand piano? Maybe it's a cheapo depot one. I don't know. That did it. Looks like the fish uh, is asleep. Wow. Gotcha. You can't get away from me, you little stinker. <clears throat> uh. Hello. I'm just doing what you I, wanted me to do. I uh, forgot the Gilson again, didn't I? And there's some already ground up in the kitchen too. Uh, I'll be. Uh, I'll bring it up to your room straight away, shall I? <laughs> Oh, and uh, maybe you could put Harold back in his tank. He does so hate the dry air. Where'd you go, Betty? I'm not gonna worry about moving the piano back. Hey, watch this. Ah, <laughs> wait, Harold. Harold's not going into shock anymore. My immersion, my immersion is broken. Okay, well, if she's just gonna bring us Gilson, then it begs the question why we ever did this in the first place. Uh, we, we just got it now. Okay. Now, just three sips of water. Is that water? That looks like ink! One... Don't make me do it every time. Oh my god. Okay. Two. But what if I make you do it four times for fun? Three. That'd be kind of cool. Alright. <gasps> how did she how did she get in there? Wait, is Betty Alice Angel? No. What's going on? Oh, it seems you're just a little overwhelmed. It's all right, honey. I understand. It's not every day one gets to bask in the glory of an angel. An angel? <laughs> As angel, to be exact. That's who I am. I'm not impressed. Impending perfection. What do you want? <sighs> right to the chase. I like that. The truth is, honey, you're one of a kind. And to put it bluntly, what I want is your face removed, your skin peeled away like paper, and your insides torn out and tossed onto my table. Custom Ready for my delicious harvest. This isn't very uh, child friendly. Generous sacrifice. I'll be beautiful. But for now, let's have fun. Plenty of time for a bloodbath later. Ooh, how about a game? Let's all play a game of riddles. Riddles? <gasps> what a wonderful idea! No. But <laughs> Audrey, time. wow. Here's the deal. Behind you is the door to freedom. But it will only be opened if you solve my little puzzle and return to your special chair. Then I'll throw this heaven switch here. If you get the puzzle right, you walk away. Get it? Okay. Wrong. So I'm in an electric chair? What about the rest of them? Okay, what am I doing? Y'all got donuts? The fox thinks the rabbit smells of elderberry. I couldn't see them sitting together. Oh, all right, Resident Evil. Okay, the fox thinks the rabbit 
Smells like elderberry. They don't sit together. The bird won't have anything to do with the rabbit, but I hear he likes to court danger by sitting next to the fox. Okay, so the bird and the fox are sitting next to it. Where am I putting this, by the way? Where? where? All right. The rabbit never sits with the bird, but he loves the playful company of the bear. So the rabbit and the bear are together. The fox and the bird are together. The pompous fox? Well, he, he wouldn't be caught dead sitting on the left. Far too pedestrian. Okay. So the fox is on the right next to the bird. My friend the bear always sits next to the bird. After all, they went to school together. So I'm, I'm envisioning it in my head. The fox is all the way to the right, next to the bird, to the left. To the left is the bear, and then all the way to the left is the, uh, the other one. Always hated the, bear. the rabbit. They never sit next to each other. Okay, I got it. So how do I so how do I do this? I'm glad you're I'm glad you're having a good time watching me solve this. You could have done way better than this riddle, by the way. This is some amateur hour shit. So how do I do it? Do I do it here? Okay, so all the way to the right is a what? There's a monkey. All the way to the right is the fox. I assume that that's the fox. Then the bird. Then the bear. And then the rabbit. Okay, great. Okay. Did I do it right? Did I do it right? Hold on tight, honey. Here it comes. Three, two, one. Should have picked a harder riddle, Alice. No! She was so disappointed that all six of them died. What? It's gotta be me? It's me or bust? Okay, well, that's too bad. Where'd she go? Why, why, why does she care? Nice Tesla coil. No okay. Cooper. I won. Get over it. Okay. Charges up a gent pipe there. I need to get my gent pipe back, though. I don't have it. Where do I get it? Oh, here it is. Great. I just fried you guys. I want to die. Wait, what did he say? I want to die. <laughs> I want to die. Okay, so I guess we'll... Or wait, is it already charged? I think it's already charged. Oh, wait, you guys were other ones. That's so strange. All right, so I guess... Oh, we do it this. Power it, power it down. All right. Um, might as well charge it back up again because we just lost it, I think. Great. Ooh, can we upgrade? <gasps> upgrade. I got a shock pipe now. Unleash the power of the punch. Use shock pipe to launch a devastating series of heavy attacks against your foes. But be warned, it only lasts a short time. Use tab to activate when your gen pipe is charged up. Tab? Okay. Well, whatever, I guess. Um. Alright, so now what? Alright, well my, my pipe is already charged up. Ooh. 
All right, I'm terrible at this, I guess. Okay, do I go up a little bit? All right, I, I, uh, I don't know what to do. All right, watch this. Oh, it's like actual, like, I, I feel like in another game, I would have known to do that. But in this game, it's just, I don't know if you feel so limited in everything that you do. It just, it didn't seem intuitive to do that. I don't know. I don't know why. Well, I just explained why. It's like everything that you do in this game, it's like, it's really simple. And so it kind of feels like... Even something like jumping and sprinting, like that is just a little bit. No one humiliates an angel. No one. You're more like a demon. This is gonna hurt. <laughs> She's so funny. Okay. Um. Give me your Give me your insides. That's funny. Stop hiding. Start dying. <laughs> Let's unlock this. Come out, come out wherever you are. I'm too busy uh looting right now actually, so <laughs> you are from me. Oh, that's precious. You're you're just standing in the same spot. You know you could just you could come get me. Oh I got another upgrade. Nice. I don't think anything can help you be beautiful, by the way. Okay, let's uh Let's fully upgrade the stamina. Why not? No. The dark puddles are calling. Bendy left this note. Or er, the ink demon, whatever. Same thing, right? We've already established that. So I'm not sure what I just opened just now. Can I, can I pop through? No. Um... Okay, well, this was... Uh, yeah, I don't know. Hmm... Okay, so I can't go up there. I know you're out there. Yeah, there's only a couple different places I can be, so... Did you still not see me? Are you sure? There we go. I just wanted to eat something real quick. The, the arrow is pointing up here. I'm not sure why. It's a great question. <laughs> You're such an idiot, dude. You're so stupid. It's crazy. Hey, hang on. I'm charging up my gen pipe. I love that. That's a great trash talk line. It's really good. So I guess I do have to go over here. Oh, there's a... I didn't see that. Look, there's a little uh, platform right there. Yeah, you're right. Nothing. Nothing gets past you, huh? Here we go, right here. All right. I know you're out there. You just saw me. You literally just saw me. Did you already forget? Okay, let's. Uh, no, you can't, because I'm about to come and smack the shit out of you with an electrified pipe. What were you shooting at? Ooh, thank you. New objective, banish Alice Angel. Okay, yeah. <laughs> She's so funny. Ah, uh, whatever. That's it, bleed. Oh my gosh. Wait, is that not what we do? 
Oh, I see. So we just do the same thing on the other side. Okay, here we go. We'll uh, go to the top right here. And... Here we go. You reek of ink demon. That's funny. Okay, so... So you have no idea that I'm behind you now. That is really funny. All right. You ain't stealing my spotlight, honey. Uh, yeah, I think I will, though. <laughs> Here we go. How dare you touch me? <laughs> Sorry, what? And then she gets stuck from behind, just like in the first game. Uh, no, they face. did ex- You have my face. It's our face. It's Allison. I can't believe that. Why does this feel so familiar? Because we've done it before. Is Tom right behind you? Alice, I cannot wow. begin to tell you how good it is to see you. And this must be your wolf. Audrey, meet Tom. Wait, she's He's still going by Alice. My friend. You both got here just in time. Now I understand why you don't like being called Alice. The machine creates many of the same forms. At Wait, least did she say on that? The outside. On the inside, we're all pretty different. Well, from now on, I'm gonna call you something other than Alice. It just doesn't suit you. Oh? Wait, what do you have what? in mind? How about... Allison. It's not bad. Okay. I thought... I'll try it out. Wait, I thought but she was already going by that. Only if you can tell me what in heaven's name you're doing in Wilson's retreat. Wilson, I almost forgot. I have to get back right away. Are you crazy? Wilson's our enemy. Do you even know him? Have you ever talked to him? I've seen what he's done. That's good enough for me. Look. It sounds like he has a plan to kill the Ink Demon. For good. And I think he can help us all. Uh, I just, Audrey. I just no. need to go back and hear him out. Well, if it's true, you'll both need as much help as you can get. The Ink Demon won't go down without a fight. Tom and I will gather some of our friends. Anyone who's left. Good luck, Audrey. You too, Allison. Mind if I take this? She just take the gun. What if I I want the gun? Give me the gun. Okay, you can weirdly pet Tom. I'm not sure I get that. Um, okay, so first of all, I cannot believe that they did the same thing. I guess it can be explained away by it being a loop, just like in the first game. Um, so the same thing happens every time. But, yeah, it kind of surprised me. I didn't think that they would actually do it. I don't understand why her name isn't already Allison, either. I guess this is- I guess- I mean, I guess this is a different loop than the one that Henry was in? I don't know. Beautiful people run this world. If you can have brains or talent, you may just sneak through the gates. But with a pretty face, every door opens. The crowds bow to you. They ask your name. They want you to attend. They ask you to speak. A silky voice with gorgeous lips is everyone's weak spot. I'm making it sound like Wilson is reading it. There's so many people with evil voices in this game, though. It's hard to differentiate. 
I was reborn with my perfection stolen from me. To get it back, I'll rip this rotted world apart. Angels are beautiful. Angels are beautiful. Alice Angel. Sincerely, evil. Um, okay, great. Now, if angels are beautiful, then uh, what's your excuse? <laughs> Good one, John. You got her. All right. Um, so now what? Now what? Promise us peace. Must they bring us only more pain? Dude, it's time to get some Mucinex. I'm serious, okay? Oh, no. Mm, the keepers. See, now, Audrey, how have you not figured it out by now? Oh, wait, is it. Do I have to stealth from him because Wilson's not here? I guess they just killed that lost one. Yep. Nope, they're dead. I guess you can't banish the keepers either. Oh, let's hide here. Sure. Um, because I need to go that way, actually. Wait, how's the ink demon talking to me right now? Aren't the signal towers, like, disrupting everything and making it to where the ink demon can't be around? Did I make that up? I'll see you later, buddy. Nice job, okay. Let's see if I can do this real quick. Well, let me charge up. Like, I have enough time, right? Even though there's absolutely no urgency from Audrey here. Dear Alice, I don't know if you will read these notes, but I'll keep leaving them for you. I hope someday you'll understand my words and the madness will fade from your mind. In this strange and dark place, we can find light and purpose. We are not left to just wander alone, craving beauty, power, and other meaningless things. Even the heart of someone feeling incomplete can discover joy. We're not lost. We're merely waiting to be found. We are so much alike, formed from the same mold. We're like sisters, you and me. I wish you comfort and the wisdom to let your heart melt into happiness. I won't give up trying to reach you before it's too late. A friend. Yeah, well, you can quickly tell who's a friend in this game and who's not by how evil they sound. So... You sound really, really evil. Wait, do I go up there? I guess so. What am I doing? Oh, is this another memory? This music box could make a good distraction if I can fix it. Gameplay? If I can fix it. Fix the music box. Oh, okay. Yeah, sure. Um, I mean, I'll try. How do I get up here? Oh, ladder. A good distraction for the keepers. Oh. That was just mean. Oh, let's go over here. I can get a little can of bacon soup or whatever. They said he killed my lord. They said the ink demon fell. They said I was a false prophet. But I say my lord lives. I say he will return. But I say you better watch your back, Mr. Wilson. Can I get an amen? I don't know. Oh, oh, oh okay. Okay, I don't know. Am I going this way? <laughs> oh, 
Okay. Uh, so what, what did I get? Did I get anything? Oh, the music box key. I got it. So I can use the music box to distract the keepers. Oh, ho, ho. Someone's extremely smart. And his name's John. Wait, I can't use my powers here. Oh. It's very annoying, but okay. I'll go ahead and uh, fix this. I gotta find the dancing figure. Okay, oh, I see. You can only hop on one piece of it at a time, so. I guess they're like, right? Oh, we. Oh, why don't I just do this? Yeah, you can hop on them or you can just walk on the sides. Yeesh. Okay. So now, there's another one here, right? Or not? Oh, there's a keeper here. Okay. <laughs> nice, bro. Okay, wait, where's the dancing figure? Ow. Wait, there are two keepers here? Okay, I'll unlock this, I guess. Take that. So we're looking for the dancing figure, right? Oh, he's right there. Oh. Can't really turn here. <laughs> no. No, this is the worst pl possible place for me to be right now. Okay, here we go. That's I only got the dancing figure. Box. Yeah, here we go. Time to fix her up. Now I just need to find a good place to put it. What, you, you already fixed it? <laughs> you didn't even do anything. Okay. Well, I gotta recharge this jet pipe real quick. Okay, so they're both right here. There's no way to get past them, except by powering this down. Okay. So how do I use the music box? Use the music box as a distraction. Find a spot to place the music box. So I have to find, do I put it on the, I, mu I must just put it on the desk over here. That's gotta be it. Stop. <laughs> yeah, okay. Here goes nothing. Yeah. Wait, oh, wait, 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 wait. What the fuck? You should be after the the music box right now. Okay. Let's do it again. I'll wait a second for them to get back in position. And then I'll wind it again. They're both coming this way. Okay, let's uh, get this. Goodbye. 
Okay, the keepers are annoying. I do prefer enemies that I can smack to bits with my pipe. <sighs> this is the timeout corner, I guess. Is the south? Oh, hi. So you're not Alice Angel. There you are. Thank goodness. Wilson's waiting for you downstairs in the laboratory when you're ready. But first, can I get your help with something? A side mission? Okay. Sure. Normally, I wouldn't ask this of a guest, but oh, with all that's happening, I can't sneak out and get things like I usually do. Sneak do out? Do you think you could pop round to the farmer's market back in town and find me a few ingredients? We're running quite low in the kitchen, and I was hoping we could all celebrate tonight with a lovely supper. Won't take but a moment if you go by train. Up to you. <laughs> no pressure. By train? We need to travel, take the train. Catch the subway, we need to travel between Wilson's Retreat and downtown. The next train is always on time. Uh, I mean, uh, but how long is this gonna take? Retrieve Betty's ingredients. Okay. I mean, what's one side mission, you know? Whatever. Are they gonna yell at me for having a weapon? Oh, they don't, suddenly they don't care anymore. <laughs> suddenly they don't give a shit, gotcha. Well, that was cool, the train actually came in, I missed it. I was on the other side. Okay. It's actually kind of cool. All right, we're at the farmer's market. Oh, for Betty, live contents. Oh. That was easy. I thought it was gonna take more time. All right, Betty, I got your ingredients. Wow, trains are loud, huh? You're a miracle worker, oh, truly. Oh, I Thanks. only wish there was something I could do for you. Oh, wait, I spotted something in the fountain yesterday. Don't know what it's for, but you're welcome to have it. You better go see Wilson downstairs. He's been waiting ages. Oh, he has not been waiting that long, but thanks. What is it in the fountain? Whoa. This? Is it a memory? I guess it's just a collectible, yeah. Do these affect the ending that I get? Picked up a memory. Here, look. I've gotten five of them. Baseball, rubber duck, engine oil, milk carton, cracked mug. Laboratory. You said it was downstairs. Oh, it is downstairs, but not the entrance. Oh, boy. Wilson knows your purpose. <laughs> it's always wheezing. That's interesting. Color. Ah, is Wilson injecting color into the world somehow? Yeah, seems like it, huh? Yeah. It's in color. The man who killed the ink demon. Hmm. How did he take credit for that? It's weird. Audrey, you made it. Good. Come inside, my dear. We have much to discuss, but make sure you're ready. Where we're going, there will be no return until we've accomplished our mission. Oh, uh, so this is like a point of no return in the game? That must mean we're near the end. Goody. I'm Thank ready. Thank you for coming all this way. The Ink Demon is a formidable foe. To truly destroy such a monster, he must be dethroned, humiliated. For months now, I've been working on something that will do exactly that. Cast out the demon and put a new deity in his place. 
Strong. You. More powerful and controllable. Together, we just need to unleash our ultimate weapon. Come, let me show you my creation. Isn't he beautiful? Simple but elegant. A treasure. Powerful beyond anyone. The Ink Demon will fall. What? And we can have peace at last. It could work, but it sounds risky. How will we control him? We don't want to repeat Joey's mistake. No, we don't. All the factors must be perfect. The right design, the right science, and the right soul. At last your purpose is revealed, Audrey. <laughs> oh my god, this he's too eager. Here. With your soul inside him, my creation will live forever. Stay away from me. You're insane. Come now, Audrey. Part of you knew this was your path. Leave yourself behind and ascend. I thought you said we needed to save your father. I thought you had a plan to send me home, to make everything right. I lied. My father is beyond hope. Perhaps you know him. Nathan Arch, owner of oh. Archgate, industrial oh. genius, business tycoon. For years, seen that I've lived in his reaching shadow. He always had time for the grand creatives of the world, the doers, as he called them. He knew only the best, the biggest thinkers. How could his lonely son ever hope to compete with that? Is he still but alive? Now, thanks to you, I can. No need to struggle. My signal prevents you from using those devilish powers of yours. And more importantly, it keeps the Ink Demon from getting in. It's time to die, Audrey. And live again as a god. What if we push him in? No. Not this time. Push him in, push him in. Why were you backing up into it, bro? Oh. So is he gonna come out as Shippehoy Dudley? Cause that's actually hilarious. Okay. I decided. Okay, so this is uh an audio log from Nathan Arch. Should have known that he was the son. That makes sense. I to go for a walk this morning. Took a little stroll down to the park. Enjoyed the warm sun for a while. Found a quiet bench. Even grabbed a hot dog. It's been ages since I've done that. Tessa would kill me if she knew I've been off my diet. When I got back to the office, I stopped by the animation department and said hello to the troops. My gosh, they're getting younger every day. Neither that or I'm just getting older. It all made me realize time is moving on. The hard struggles don't seem as dire as they used to. Life has other value. I think I'll go home early today. Maybe I'll even pick up a hot dog for Tessa. You're obsessed with those hot dogs. Yeah, you're not 12 years old anymore, Nathan. It's time to move on to other things. Okay, so uh, I guess that's all that I have here, yeah. Nothing, what was this blueprint? Was this the ink machine or whatever? So is this the ink machine, like the one that's in the Archgate exhibit from the beginning of the game? I guess that's the one from Joey Drew's home. It's like a mini ink machine, so it's not the same one. Well, no it is. Oh look, speaking of. Okay. You were birthed from the darkest shadows. Or it's time to ask the question. Uh, what? I'm just gonna crank this. I don't know. 
What, what am I supposed to be asking? No, my powers. Is this Ship Ahoy Dudley? Is this Wilson? It's kind of cool, actually. What am I doing? Okay. I like the I like the theme actually. This is cool. Do these open or no? Hmm. Oh wait, do I get him to smack it? How do I open this? Yeah, come on, hit this. Maybe I get him to smack it. Okay, yeah, that's what you do. Cool. Ah! How dare you? Oh, like, oh, like, holy shit! Oh, is he getting. Oh my god, I didn't even see you. Fuck off. Okay, let's recharge. Ow. Come on, smack this. Thank you. One more. Right here. Okay. Power down. Okay. Oh wow. Am I smacking him? Okay. Give him a little give him a little have a little spanking on the booty. Actually don't know if maybe there's a, a specific part of him that I'm supposed to be hitting Oh I didn't realize Shit Okay so Wilson's in the in the in the middle of that. I think you I think you hit him enough on the sides. Oh. Okay, never mind. Okay, I okay. Well, fine. <laughs> kind of annoying that there's like no heels or anything there that I can tell. There we go. Oh, we banish him? Oh. Oh, get him, Ink Demon. Great. So Wilson's gone. But we're not in very good shape. So now what?
How edgy. You're a mistake. So we just did like some Dragon Ball fusion bullshit. We didn't even do the dance. We didn't stand next to each other and do the whole eh thing. What's happening to me? I oh, just explained it. <laughs> Audrey, just gotta learn to think a little bit. There's always a choice. I know you're in there. Deep behind that evil face, inside somewhere is my little girl. My Audrey. My greatest creation. I'm scared. I, I don't know what's happening. The past doesn't define you, nor the present. In the end, all those years ago, Joey Drew finally succeeded. He created life. But Audrey, you're so much more than that. You were his family. His daughter. My daughter. And I love you so very much. Be quiet. Gracious. Remember who you are, Audrey. Remember. Your words are waste. Is that the end that he has? It is. I know you're in there. You don't have to be there. It's anymore. the end reel. <laughs> it's never too late. Just a tense when a dream. It's not enough. You have to have. He's not the man, he's just a memory. What do you think you're doing? I'm starting over. What? This is the end. Okay. So we're gonna put it in the projector or something? Where is there a projector around here? Oh, he's like super bendy. Oh, okay, this is actually kind of cool. You're just a pawn. Watch this. Oh my gosh. Uh, you know what? Let's just go. Yeah, this is kind of cool, actually. Like, it's creative, at least. It takes a risk for once in the game's godforsaken life. It takes a little bit of a risk. Some creative license. It is kind of annoying that they're just chasing after me like that. But you're not even hitting me. Look at them taking swipes at thin air. I'm gonna rip you apart. You guys are stupid. How are you gonna rip me apart? Oh, look, watch out guys. They've got monkey wrenches. You are 
Look, the human teeth are gone. Oh my god. Allison! Audrey! Is that you in there? Come on! Keep moving! We'll get you through! Tom! Make us some trouble! Oh hey! I never got him his favorite sack though! Okay. Here I go. Go get him, Tom. Actually, you know what? Just, we're just slaughtering tons of these things for no reason. All right, let's go. How are there this many people that worked at this place? Because these are all former employees, I thought. I mean, we've, we've taken out so many of them. I guess the ink machine can just like infinitely replace them. Sammy. It's interesting. Oh, oh, he got shot. <laughs> it's pretty funny. Well, it's not yet. It's not open yet. God, these guys are so annoying. Like, this is kind of a cool sequence, but I kind of wish there was like some point to it. Like, I kind of wish I was Allison in this scenario instead. Because then it, I feel like there'd be more gameplay. Like, it, it's really not that big a deal to have some, like a, like a shooter section, right? You would think anyway. Any of you guys play like Spider-Man for the PlayStation? There's a sequence towards the end that kind of reminds me of this. It's uh, Dr. Octopus and Carnage fused together to form Monster Ock, and you have to like, you have to run away from them and something that's like, it, it, it kind of looks like this a little Dead bit. End. Now what? I like how all those Need things disappeared. Henry, you came. Oh, Some there's Henry. Even a million times. How did you guys get out? I found a projector up ahead. Run for it. Yeah, how did you get, how did you get out? Well then, we'll just have to do better next time. Audrey's so nonchalant about all this. Wow, Tom's already here. All right, let's uh, let's do it, I guess. So this is exactly how the Benny Ink Machine ended. Okay, so. But I mean, Henry did that and it didn't break the cycle, so. Unless I'm missing something. Aren't we just gonna end up right back where we started? My father once told me that just because we're born of darkness, doesn't mean we belong to it. We're always free to choose. What's with this Joey Drew and redemption here, arc in this game? At the very beginning, there's a choice to make. My father's cartoon world was now mine. To rule, to watch over, and to protect. I can make the cycle more bearable for my friends inside. Oh, I see. But as for me, I'm the first of my kind. Born of ink, 
but living oh, in the flesh. That. Joey's world is escaping into ours. So, what's next? Who can really say? A third game, I'm guessing. A third game. All right. Ooh, cool credits. Animated credits. Oh, this is really neat. These are really cool. Most of the time you just see like black and white credits run, but these are awesome. Look at these. I mean, Bendy's strength has always been in the aesthetic and the art style. It's because it's created by artists, which is its biggest strength and also one of its biggest flaws, in my opinion. I gotta stop saying, in my opinion. It's just understood at this point. It's like, yeah, whatever I say, it's gonna be my opinion, so I don't even need to say it. <laughs> yeah, these, I mean, these credits are awesome. But, uh, yeah, I'll start, I'll start, um, doling out my opinion about now, though. Because I, I think, I assume we're going to start getting into, like, So that was Joey and Audrey, I guess. Oh. Oh, so Gent did come and take the ink machine, I guess. Just like Wilson noted in one of his notes, he said that, uh, Alan Gray from Gent was poking around. I guess they, I guess they came in and they took it. Okay, so let's talk about Bendy and the Dark Revival. <sighs> There's a lot to talk about. Okay, so like I said, the games uh, and, and the entire series' biggest strength has always been the art, the visuals, the aesthetics. It's all on point, you know. But you know, the fact that the game is primarily made from from an artist perspective with artist priorities kind of means that everything other than the art is a little bit wanting. This was published by Rooster Teeth? That doesn't surprise me, I guess, now that I think about it. So yeah, let me get into what I thought of the game. So probably a lot of you know that I'm not a big fan of Bending Machine. I remember when chapter one first launched it as, as like a free 10 minute little experience. I was really impressed by it. I thought the art style was awesome. I thought like, wow, this is a cool little atmospheric horror um, thing. And it didn't really know what it wanted to be at that point, but it quickly made the rounds on YouTube and it kind of blew up, you know. It became very, very popular very quickly. Um, I would say to a degree that we hadn't really seen since Five Nights at Freddy's at that point, as far as horror games go on YouTube. And uh, Chapter 2 came out not long afterwards. They had, you know, a higher budget, higher run time, longer run time. And, uh, but I remember being like, okay, this is not exactly where I thought it was going to go. Because it was clearly going in kind of a more character driven direction than I thought. And then chapter three came out and chapter three of Bendy and the Ink Machine is where um, you stumble across a previously never mentioned toy factory. And, um, you know, I was kind of feeling a little, little cynical about it already just from chapter two. Like I enjoyed chapter two, but I remember feeling like a little cynical about it at times. Like, uh, I feel like they're kind of taking it in a direction I didn't want them to go. And then chapter three, it was just basically a big merchandise advertisement is what I thought. So chapter three, I really didn't like, and also the gameplay was very fetch quest oriented, but I was like, well, we'll see what the rest of it is like. So I played chapter four and five. You can watch all this on YouTube um, a few years ago, you know, as they were coming out. And um, I think by the time chapter five came out, I was like, you know, there were some cool parts, but 
overall, it's just not what I wanted. Like chapter one kind of teased this atmospheric horror experience that never ended up manifesting because it's like once the game started gaining momentum, it completely changed direction. And I get that that sometimes happens with projects, but uh, yeah, so I wasn't a big fan of what happened. Just uh, it didn't fit what I what I thought the game should have been or what what the potential of what it could have been was so much greater than what ended up happening. Bending the Dark Revival, however, you know, like I said, I, I'm playing it a couple months late, but I didn't know anything about it until I played it just now. And I tried to go in being like, this one's going to be different. And I had heard good things about it. I had heard this one is different from some people with no details given. It was different, this one. And for the first chapter, I was pretty impressed with Bending the Dark Revival. I thought, you know, what's a nice way to say this? Um, it felt more like an actual video game than Bending the Ink Machine did. Like it, like the budget was clearly higher and it, I mean, it had better be because I'm telling you right now, these guys that made the Bendy series, they, they made a ton of money off of Bendy and Ink Machine, a ton. And, it, and most of it wasn't from game sales. Most of it was from merchandise. Merchandise, the like, I cannot emphasize this enough. Merchandise, you make so much money from it. Not just in games, but YouTubers. YouTubers make so much money from merchandise, it's unreal. They don't make most of their money from their videos. I, I do, but I'm an exception, I guess, um, in that respect. Most popular YouTubers, they make most of their money from merchandise. And uh, I believe Bendy was uh, no exception to that. Um, the budget better be higher for Dark Revival, frankly. However, um, the things that were teased in chapter one, you know, you started off with a little bit of combat and I was like, okay, the combat, isn't thrilling but i'm sure it'll get better you know you there you're teased with these abilities on your uh left hand eventually you get the ability to teleport you know you can banish um and that's it actually that's it now that i think about it, you only get those two abilities don't you is there a third one i'm, I'm forgetting because it seems like there should be a third one but um it kind of teases in the first chapter that the gameplay and the combat is going to be a little deeper than the first game and so i was excited for it uh, and it never ended up manifesting. Um, the combat is still just spam left click. There's no, all they needed, all they needed, just give me a back step. Give me a back step or like a side dodge or something. That would have made it more fun. Um, and you could have made the game more difficult to compensate, you know, for the added mobility. But instead, when enemies come up, what do you do? You stand there, whack, 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 they're done, right? Um, if you want to get fancy, you you chain a blink in there like I tried to do a couple times, but there's really no, not much point in doing it. The combat is like simple to to a fault. It's it's nothing. The combat in this game, it's it's nothing. <laughs> I mean, pretty. You, it, it's almost to the point you like. I I question why we even had it in some cases it's it's so weak it's such a weak part of the game and unfortunately as far as general gameplay goes the combat is most of it because what do you what else do you have for gameplay they added some you know some more interesting movement in this game than they did in the ink machine like um you know you can you can go into these vents you can you can smash uh you know weak walls and and go through them and you can charge it up and use it to get into uh, these electrically sealed doors and stuff. So they, they had some elements that were different than the first game, but it's just not enough. It's, it's so like overly simple. It was obviously made for children to play. And I think that's, you know, obviously, like I said in the, in the playthrough, I'm not the target market for this game. And I realize that I'm under no illusion However, you know, um, I'm going to put my uh, YMS hat on right now for those of you that are a fan of, of them and say just because it's made for children doesn't mean it has to be dumbed down and simplified to the point where it's uh, difficult, I would say, for adults to enjoy as well. Now, I know plenty of adults probably enjoy this, but I'm just speaking for me personally. I mean, the, the gameplay is just not there. Um, for me, 
at all. Uh, for gameplay for this game, I would, if I were to give individual ratings to aspects, I would say, I would say like graphics for this game, great. Like, like a, like a, like an A minus, okay, for graphics. And then for gameplay, I would say like a D, D minus. It's just really bad. But uh, gameplay isn't really why people play Bendy. Uh, they they mostly play, play Bendy for uh, graphics and for story and characters, right? So what about the story and characters? I will say that I did like the story better in Bendy the Dark Revival than Bendy and Ink Machine. That's not saying a whole lot, however, because Bendy the Ink Machine's story was like so convoluted. I just didn't click with it at all. They took this game and they doubled down on the Bioshock inspiration. Like when I played in Bendy the Ink Machine, there were many points where I was sitting there and I was like, this is very inspired by Bioshock, but it's subtle enough to where, you know, it's, it's not like, you know, you see a screenshot of the game and you're like Bioshock, right? But there were many things like like the pop-ups that happened after you got a new feature unlocked, um, the sound effect that was paired with it. It was everything was just like, it's like pinpoint Bioshock, classic game, uh, if you haven't played it. If you haven't played Bioshock and you've played this, I beg you to just play Bioshock and you will see what I mean. It, this is like an inferior game in every respect to Bioshock. However, like I said, Bioshock, one of the best games of all time, and I'm not alone in thinking that. So a lot of games are worse than Bioshock, right? But a lot of games don't try really hard to flagrantly copy Bioshock to the point they steal plot elements from it. There was that one moment where I was like, oh, are we, are we Wilson's daughter? And like, I got it off a little bit, but then we were revealed to be Joey Drew's daughter. I was just like, oh man, they were really wanting to have like a mid game twist similar to Bioshock. And it's just, there's so many Bioshock similarities. It's like, I don't want to say it's borderline offensive, but it's, it, cause it ain't that deep, but it's just a little like, why? If you, if you were trying so hard to make a game like Bioshock, then why is the gameplay so bad? It like blows my mind a little bit because the reason why people love Bioshock isn't just because of the story and characters. It's because of the, you know, and, and the world and stuff. It's because of the gameplay. You know, cycling through all the different abilities and weapons that you have. And the combat's really fun. Ah, the big daddies are crazy. There's nothing in the game like that. So that's, it's just like the disconnect for me. It's like you were trying to make it like this, but then why did you have it like this? And I can't, I can't reconcile. As far as the characters go, um... And the story as well. They, they actually recycle a lot of stuff from Ink Machine too. Like I couldn't believe when Allison killed Alice again, but again, I get it, it's a loop. So the same thing's gonna happen in both, but it just kind of felt like, it felt like, it felt very safe. A lot of this game felt very safe. And in the first chapter, I was kind of like, it kind of feels like they're going a different direction, but then it ended up being very, very safe. And that's, I think the most disappointing thing about it is that it didn't take really any risks. It was a true Bendy and Ink Machine part two. Anyway, I'm gonna stop hammering the same point over and over again, but um, yeah, as far as the characters go, I mean, they're basically the same. The only new ones that we got were uh, Wilson, uh, the Keepers, there, uh, what was his name, Porter, and the, uh, the lost one that had the rope, and then the Porter, or sorry, the, the lost one that uh, hid from us. The lost one that Tom was running at the end. I'm sure they'll be great for plushies. Fantastic job. There, there was basically nothing that we got from them in the game, though. Like when Porter first showed up, I was like, oh, a lost one that talks to us. That's kind of cool. And then we never saw him again. We saw the lost one that hid from us. I was like, oh, kind of cool. You only find her the one time and then you never see her again. I just, it, it's, it's, it kind of is like, were, were they just introducing these characters so that they could bring them out for for new merch it's like i hate to think so cynically about it but frankly the first one turned to be more of a cash grab than i thought so why not this one too it's just like 
I guess what's really disappointing to me is that like, okay, you guys have made your money. So like, why not come out and make something crazy? And this just wasn't it. There were so many evil sounding characters in this. And again, I get it's for kids. You have to beat them over the head with like, this character's evil. Uh, but as soon as Wilson speaks in the game, it's obvious he's a horrible villain. I kept waiting. I was like, maybe he's all right. Maybe this is a bait and switch, but no, he's just the villain. And as soon, as soon as he shows up on screen, you can just tell he's ugly. He's got the, you know, the eye with no iris. He's, he, he sounds like he's about to, you know, he sounds like Mark Hamill's Joker. It's just like, I, why does it have to be that heavy handed? And then the ink machine, so much phlegm in that throat, man. Um, sorry, the ink machine, the ink demon. And then the keepers sound legitimately like, you know, black metal vocalists. So I, there was just so much, so, so many raspy evil villain voices in this. It was just kind of a little over the top. And then there was Alice who also, you know, sounded a bit like that. I mean, I don't know what I expected, I guess. I'm just, this is what I'm talking about. A lot of times I'll, I'll, I'll say I'm, I'm a very optimistic person. And then people laugh at me because they're like, what are you talking about? This is what I mean. I went into this and I was just like, let's give it a chance. These guys might have pulled out something crazy. And then they didn't. And so I am disappointed. And you might be like, well, what did you expect? Right? Because you're a pessimistic. But I was optimistic. I genuinely was. And uh, yeah, I don't know. Am I going to play Bendy 3? The inevitable Bendy 3? I guess only time will tell. But yeah, if I... I'm sure, I'm sure the developers don't like me at all. I'm sure they don't like me at all. They, <laughs> they like, they like called up every YouTuber under the sun that's ever played their game to like do a voice in this game. I noticed in the credits and <laughs> I, don't, I can't imagine that they would ever want me to, involved in anything with their games. Um, but I, I don't know if they, you know, will take this to heart at all, but like, please, please. I genuinely mean this like with the best intentions. For Bendy 3, go a little crazy with it. Take some risks. You guys have made enough money. Surely. Surely. You can you can afford to take a couple risks with the next one and do something creative. I know you guys have it in you. I know you y'all are a bunch of really talented artists over there. Very talented. Y'all got y'all got the the cred and the and the resume for this. Just like pump out something nuts. I mean, the indie horror genre is a is a genre that thrives off of creativity and people doing unexpected things. I mean, that's how Five Nights at Freddy's first blew up when it came onto the scene in 2014. Nobody had ever seen anything like it. And and that's 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 like why it's so beloved even to this day. So instead of making another safe game where like you walk around with a pipe and you bonk things three times and they die, maybe we could go a little nuts with Bendy 3. Just something to think about. Um, it might be more creatively fulfilling as well. So yeah, those are my thoughts on Bending the Dark Revival. That was probably an entire video length itself, me talking about that. I just have a lot to say about this game because I'll just, I'll put it this way. It's an unforgettable experience for me playing these Bendy games. Not in a good way, but um, I just really want it to do better, I guess. All right, let me know what y'all thought about Bending the Dark Revival. Am I full of shit? Was this awesome? Am I completely nuts? Am I off my rocker? Was this the best game, the best horror game of 2022? Let me know. Um, and I'll read them. But uh, yeah, let me know what you thought about uh, the game and the video. And thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Think critically.